Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Bargain Bin Speedrun Showcase, showcasing all speedruns, all under $20. I'm your host, Midnight Vesper, and if you're new here, well, here's how this whole thing works. We're going to be using digital stores for more digital store games. We'll be using digital stores like uh, Steam, GOG, Itch.io, Ubisoft, etc. to look at the list slash MSRP price. For retro games, we'll be using a wide assortment of retro gaming websites to look at the loose price of the game. We do not count any sales or discounts as they vary from time of purchase. A couple announcements real fast. Summer Games Dunquick 2023 is coming up May 28th through June 4th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Off-site volunteer submissions are open until March 22nd. Head on over to gamesdunquick.com for more information. And speaking of events, do not forget that Games Done Quick is going to be at PAX East 2023 on March 23rd to the 26th. Be sure to check out the speedrun stage if you're interested in watching some speedruns or play through the gauntlet. It is super fun to play through the gauntlet. I did it last year. And of course, do not forget your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel all help support Games Done Quick Hotfix. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the daily speedrun content. And if you want to follow what GDQ is up to, use exclamation mark links in Twitch chat for all things GDQ. Now, I hope you all are a big fan of the hit show, The Last of Us, because that's our main showcase for tonight. I figured with the HBO live action remake ending its first season last night, now would be a great time to celebrate it by showcasing the speed run of The Last of Us. Now, before we go into get into anything, I do want to make sure that everyone's aware we may be talking about certain things about the TV show. Not a whole lot of spoilers, but there are some things that we may talk about in the TV show. Uh, we're not going to talk about the season finale, though, that aired last night. So if you have not watched it, we're good with that. We're going to try our hardest not to talk about a whole lot of spoilers, but we will talk about um, things in the HBO show. But first, let's go ahead and take it on over to Matt Matt to showcase this amazing run. How are you, Matt Matt? Um, I'm doing very good, thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm Matt Matt, and um, this is The Last of Us. Not the remake, this is the remastered PS4 release, um, which I am actually playing on a PS4, because it is slightly faster, and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, and yeah, I'm joined with uh, Uranto, who is an absolutely amazing one of this game, and he's a lot better than I am. Oh. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, I'm just going to get started, because... We've got a long time to wait at the start, so we can do a lot of the talking and the introductions and all that as we get going. So let me just let this save quickly. Yeah, this is going to be any percent new game plus. So we're going to see a lot of glitches, a lot of cool stuff. Um, new game plus just because it's faster. Um, I'm going to use a save in case the game crashes because no, my luck, it would do that. Usually we wouldn't run with a save, but it doesn't actually lose time in this game, so it's it's fine. Um, so I'll give you a countdown to stop the time. As time will start when I skip this first cutscene. Whenever it loads. Okay, so three, two, one, go. So Let's go. straight away. Let's go. Straight away we get a do a lot of waiting. Um So if anyone's run this game, a lot of people have, surprisingly. Um you have to wait. I think it's like what, four and a half minutes at the start. Basically just riding in the car. And it's horrible, and I hate it. And <laughs> but we, we've got to do it. Uh, but it gives us plenty of time to, to talk about stuff. Um, but first, we've got to walk down some stairs. Very intriguing gameplay, intense gameplay. Yeah, that's all. Um, this is Sarah, by the way. Yeah, this is Sarah <laughs> playing as Sarah right Daddy? now. The only time you play as her in the game. Sad. Hmm. I will say from someone who's actually... So coming up in a sec, we're going to... Okay. I was going to say from someone who's actually never fully played all of The Last of Us, kind of going into this after watching the show is going to be a really unique experience for me. Well, it was a very weird experience for me watching the show with like over 3,000 hours in this game. <laughs> I, okay? I bet. So it was a very, very Did weird experience here? for sure. No, who would come um, here? And if you have watched some of the show, you'll probably notice if you did play the game that a lot of the stuff was just completely cut out. What's going on? Which, I mean, they added new bits and bobs here and there, but most of it has been removed. It's not. Some things are the same, some things aren't. But yeah, so right now, 
We're just stuck. We can't do anything for like four and a half minutes. So this is plenty of time to talk about general stuff to do with the run. So yeah, this is New Game Plus. So New Game Plus in this game doesn't work like a lot of other games. You start with all upgrades and everything like that, but you don't start with all your weapons. So um, we still have to collect every weapon as we go. Um, like you would in a normal new game, but in New Game Plus, we just get all the upgrades and all that stuff to go along with it, which makes it a little bit faster. Um, mainly for like the rifle, which is a one shot instead of two. Um, and yeah, so I'm playing on PS4. Um, you can run this on PS5, but any percent specifically is uh, slightly faster on a PS4 because there's a trick we can do later in the game. Um, in winter, um, where we can glitch out of the David boss, and it's well, the David boss cutscene we can kind of skip it and it loads a bit faster on PS4, so it's actually slightly faster to restart the checkpoint um, when we glitch out of it and it'll skip that. It says about 15 seconds, you can't do that on PS5, it won't work. So that's why we play on PS4. Um, and there is no real benefits. Technically, Juventus, am I right in saying that PS5 loads slower? than PS4 with SSD? Um, yes. I mean, you should know because... Yeah. yeah, there are there are some checkpoints that load faster on PS5, but some load faster on PS4. It's a bit weird, uh, but the difference isn't big. Like, on PS5, it's only like maybe a second slower overall. But um, the thing... Oh, I thought it was a lot more than that. The, the thing in winter, uh, we really, um, like, it's really a lot faster to the PS5 patch that Naughty Dog brought out when, uh, like, right before the PS5 came out. So patch, oh, yeah. Patch 1.11, was it? That really changed a lot. Uh, so that saves even more time now. Yeah, because it was so. There's always been this glitch with the David fight where, if you were too fast, which you usually are in the previous area, then when you hit the triangle prompt on the door, it will glitch out and the cutscene won't start. And and previously, up until like just before the PS5 came out, on the old patches, when you restarted checkpoint or anything, it would take about like 15 seconds to load. Um, but just before the PS5 version or the PS5 release, they released a patch for this game that improved load times a little bit and it makes that actually faster now. So, what was technically really annoying and, being, and was a run killer, if you forgot, because what we would usually do is restart when we enter that area and it wouldn't happen. Um, but now you don't even need to do that. Just You actually want it to happen on PS4, whereas before we didn't. It's quite funny how things change. Yeah. So we're nearly coming up to the end of the part where we actually can play again. Um, and this is by far, probably in my opinion, the most annoying part of the game, which is the running <laughs> section here, because these AI civilians are so irritating. They do whatever they want. They can fly through the air, they can run through walls, they can block you. And they, it's just, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. So, so we'll see what they, what they do for me now. Yeah, there, there's definitely a lot going on. Like, e even after years of playing, there's something new every time. I I'm just surprised yeah. they can fly. I think that would have been something in the TV show they yeah, really should have put in. They're, they're really glitchy. Hey, they're very buggy. I think I did see one walk through a wall on the show. I'm actually though. kind of hoping it goes all all funky, because then we get to see some, some funny stuff. So yeah, the, the, the start of this game plays out a lot differently to the actual start of the show in terms of pacing, because obviously in this they just rush through it in the game, but in the show you get a more in-depth look at the start before it happens, which is one of the only points where they actually added a bunch of stuff was was the first episode. It, it even started before the game story was. Yeah, I actually really like that intro scene, the foreshadowing. It was really cool, actually. I agree. Well, let's see what kind of what kind of RNG we're gonna get. They're gonna be nice to me or not? And we do want to. There is three tech that we can do here as well. 
we want to try and do, do certain things to get Tommy to push us here as well as much as we can. Oh, she fell over. That's good. <laughs> this guy's blocking me now. Only thing you oh. and he's fell over. Nice. The only thing. Nice. Nice. <laughs> this is the this is the worst. <laughs> oh my god. I, I've never had that happen to me before ever, where they've just all blocked me at the start, and that's never happened. Nice. Well, this is the worst intro ever. Yeah, the intro unfortunately is pretty RNG heavy. But most of the time, it's only you can lose a lot of time. It, mo mostly, it's only uh, like about a few seconds, but especially at the beginning of a like two and a half to three hour run, it's already a lot. And then, especially when you have to reset, like <laughs> five minutes in, yeah, it's very annoying. Sometimes the NPCs even glitch, glitch through this gate here. Yeah. Right, so I want to try and get Tommy to push me here as well. Nice. At least a little push. Oh, nearly at the end of the intro. Little push when I got stuck in the corner. <laughs> the intro just quite is what it is. It's like you just deal with it. I'm not that bothered about it. I never have been. Yeah, it's just uh, run forward and hope yeah, the best. And dodge the NPCs if you can. The problem is the NPCs are actually faster than you, so. If you get one coming up behind you, they can easily run ahead of you and just block you. And then when they fall over, you fall over. It's all over because you just get stuck on them. So now we're at the end of the intro. I'm gonna skip forward 20 years. Restart checkpoint there to skip an in-game cutscene. No, nothing happened in that in that cutscene. Nothing. No, no, no. Nothing. It's not like there was an entire apocalypse. Don't worry no, about it. No. It's fine. It just skipped 20 years. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens with me when I just hit, you know, when I just sometimes hit start and skip cutscenes, flash forward 20 years. Yeah, also, what, what Mad Mad just did was doing a restart checkpoint. Yeah, you will see those more often throughout the run, and they all uh, do something different. Like here, it skipped a little in game cutscene. Uh, it probably saved like, I don't know, 15 seconds. Um, yeah, and you will see that more often. Yeah. We do it for loads of different reasons, whether it's to like change enemy patterns or restart checkpoints, put us, I mean, uh, skip cutscenes or put us further ahead. Uh, I did, um, I, I, I did see a question in chat. Uh, the little girl that, uh, the main character whose name just went out of my head was holding before we jumped 20 years. Fine. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Yeah, she's totally fine. Totally yeah, fine. Just, just out getting caught. She's not. She's now, not dead. At university, getting a degree. Yeah, she didn't get shot. Oh, no, it's fine. What's your business here? Got the day off. Visiting a friend. All right. Uh, an actual question. I'm, I've seen people in chat talk about it. Um, in terms of the speed run, are the strats in the remake and like the remaster? In terms of their, how different or similar are they? The, the, everything's completely different, pretty much. Um, the only thing that's really the same is a couple of checkpoint restarts you can still do um, in the re in the remake, but for the most part, most of it is the same. I mean, I mean, completely different. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Like you, you, re you, you really can't learn this run and then just do a remake run. That won't work. Yeah, I mean, I'm terrible at this game, but I'm terrible at the remake, even more so. Um, I also would like to point out that um, I had a month to de-rust this, and I left it till last minute. So I did enough. I feel like it's going to be fine. I'm hoping it will be. Probably not, but uh, I'll give it my best shot. It's about showcasing the game. Yeah. Also, pull back on the left stick and press X to do a quick turn, if you didn't know. <laughs> I actually didn't. Yeah, so when, when it teaches you to do that, if you do it too quick, the prompt just stays on the screen. Yeah, you stay out of trouble, all right? Military's going to be out in force soon. Yeah, see you around. 
So we're going to do another checkpoint restart in a second, which is uh, mainly to move Tess forward because the next part is tied to her getting in the room. So we do a restart and it warps her in. So just look at this little triangle on the floor. Yes. Like a triangle. Like a square. And then we've got to make sure to run over the bottles because it's the most important thing to do. No signs of military or infected. Right. If you don't do it, you run's invalid if you don't knock those bottles over. <laughs> I always do that in my run. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Every time. That's a nice CRT. I wonder, if I, can, I wonder how much they charge for that. Looks a bit moldy. <laughs> Um, we're going to get to the good stuff soon, soon-ish. Um, we're going to get our gun and our backpack now, and then coming up soon enough is going to be the first encounter. So we're going to walk over here to trigger Tess's dialogue. I'm going to come back, and we're going to pick up the gun when she walks over the wire. And this uh, speeds up her dialogue in the next area a little bit, so we can get her to boost herself a little bit faster. Was it you that found that you went for? Was it no, it was Durham. Oh, it was Durham, okay. Uh, there's so many strats in this game and so many different variations. You'd think with a game like this... Some people back in the day said, how can you speed on this game? It's just a movie. Well, you can. Very much so, you can. Um, and there's so many different variations of things to do and different strats. It's just hard to keep track all the time. Yeah, and it's overall a really, really good speed run. Like, the beginning is slow. After the first yeah, 20 minutes. the beginning is a bit slow, but like, the strats are really cool in the run. There are lo lots of different strats. And it's similar... Hopefully I remember how to do them all. It's similar uh, to a casual playthrough, where like, w that's what made Last of Us special. That every encounter, every fight is completely different. And that's actually the same for the speedrun. Like every fight, every strat, like you won't ever really do the same things. And uh, well, when it comes to shooting people, you do do the same thing. You shoot them. Yeah. No. <laughs> but there's lots of variation, though. Yeah. We we literally make use of pretty much everything in the game, and we pick up enough stuff that by the time we get to the end of the game, it's all gone because we've used it all. Everything we pick up is intricately, like, planned out. Yeah. yeah. The route is very well optimized. So we usually just craft items when we have, like, a few seconds of downtime because we wait for NPCs or... Uh, uh, or other st stuff before we progress. Also, I should point out that it is in, in certain sections where you're forced to slow walk, it is faster to crouch if you can. Um, so you might see me crouching a lot randomly, and that's why. So, coming up is the first encounter. We call it the three infected because it's three infected. No surprise there. And we're going to shoot them. Um, there is a guy here. He's dying. Very sad. I'm going to ignore him because I, wanna, I don't want to waste any bullets. <laughs> <laughs> the game wants you to mercy kill him technically, but I uh, uh, no. He's alright, I'll just leave him there. So I pick up this, these two bullets. Um, gives me a bit of leeway during this fight. So I'm going to try and get uh, two headshots. And then I'm going to shoot the last one three times. Hopefully, I get the second headshot. Which is um, harder-ish. Let's see how it goes. Nice. Nice. That's first fight down. Yeah, that was really good. Let's hope so. crouch here again because we forced the slow walk. So first up we're gonna see at first a little bit of speed tech, which technically is allowed in glitchless because you can do it on your own. I mean by accident, so it's not it's not unique to any percent, but it technically is a glitch. Um, and it, it's, it works on the remaster only because of 60 FPS. So if you're in a tight gap while crouched and you try to sprint out of it, you just get launched. So we're going to crouch into this gap. We're going to sprint. We're just going to zoom out of it. Get a couple of times throughout the run. Not much, but it does save time. So I appreciate the zooms. 
We need all the zooms. Yes. It's a bit heavy. There is one right at the end of the game, which is the best one. It's called the sink, the sink launch. It's the best. Well, Shout out to you, Ranta. <laughs> I'm excited to try that one. <laughs> it's my favorite. I can never get that to work, even though I found it. It always pushes me to the right instead of forward. We want to make sure Tess is ahead of us here. But we want to be as close to her as we can get. Um, because we wanted to go into this door as fast as possible. Um, and sometimes she just doesn't want to open it straight away. So, for those who may not necessarily have played fine. the game, um, or maybe have just watched the show or something like that, like, uh, why was Joel wearing a, a mask earlier? Um, so, in the game specifically, you can get infected by spores. Um, if you breathe them in, you get infected. In the show, they completely just remove that that feature. It's not there. There's no spores or anything. So, yeah. We wear a mask to not die. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, I'm trying to think. How many spots? I think that's it. Oh, no, yeah. And then once before, ca uh, just after Capital, we put it on. I don't think we put it on again after that. It's not used that much, to be oh, fair. Yeah. I think Glitchless it is more, but in any percent we don't in, see it university, too, too often. I think. Oh yeah, in university as well. Yeah, but it's really not... I play enough. this game, I, I know everything about it, obviously. I mean, in the speedrun, so that's first, only like 5 seconds <laughs> where we have the mask. Yeah. So coming up is the first any percent skip, um, which is random. And it might not work. I'm hoping it does. So we're going to try and skip an in-game cutscene here where Tess talks to this guy to, to give him some ration cards to get some information. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and push Tess back into the bus. I'm going to walk to here. I'm going to walk backwards, walk forwards, and hopefully she'll back up into the bus and it will delay her long enough that I can get past this trigger. I can't hear her. That's a good sign. Okay, we're good. So right there, a cutscene would have normally triggered... Um, but that trigger for it to start is tied to Tess specifically. So, if we can stop her from getting there, we can just get past the trigger before it triggers. And that saves like 15 seconds. And now we've got our first human encounter. It's so weird to say that in a game. Uh, now we have our first human encounter. Yeah. Humans are very annoying in this game, as as pretty much all the enemies are. This fight's pretty simple. We're just gonna headshot the first guy and shoot the second guy three times. Yeah. We do. We I do this because we actually want to get certain ammo drops. I'm gonna waste a bullet because um. Oh no, oh, that's fine. I accidentally headshot him. I didn't want to. We, so we want to make sure we have enough ammo to get drops from enemies. If we have too much, it won't drop any. So we basically manage our ammo specifically so we get certain drops. So right here, I need six bullets. I'm going to shoot some out. Give me your hand. Um, because if I have more than six going into the next fight, the last enemy might not drop any, and that's going to be a very bad time. So coming up is the first like major technical fight. The first two were like pretty simple. Um, this is where it starts to get a bit more technical, and this is where this, this it starts to get hard. So, from now on, we're going to get a bunch of fights back to back, and it can go very wrong. And I'm hoping it doesn't. If you know me and you've watched my streams of me running this, I hate the first half an hour. I can't stand the slums section of the game. It just drives me insane. Not our call. Let's spread out. Make sure no one's creeping around in here. So, I'm going to try and do this. What? How is that not a headshot? Oh yeah, the, the headshot hitboxes in this game are really bad. Um, so, I, I did headshot him, but it missed. Because it hit him in the shoulder. That was fine though, I'll take that. Last two enemies, two headshots, hopefully. I'm gonna grab this ammo, actually. Nice. 
That'll do. It, that wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. So. Also, you, you have 15 p p pistol bullets. <laughs> yeah, I'm rolling now. Mm -hmm. you, you you need to come out of that fight with at least three. The way the route I take anyway, but now I've got 15, so I'm set. So, uh, could you say we have to worry a lot about ammo? Uh, how important is it just to learn how to make sure you know exactly what frame it is to make sure you get the right headshots? Just make sure the vertical's on my face. <laughs> it, it, the thing is, you can even have like a perfect aim where it's like perfectly on their head and it'll still miss because the actual bullet trajectory will be somewhere in that circle, but there's a chance that it will actually go out of that circle. Um, and there's nothing we can really do. So. Especially over a huge distance, it's way harder. Yeah. So the, the worst pistol, the, the worst pistol, the worst gun for it is the pistol. Every other gun's fine. The revolver headshots is easy, but the starting pistol, the actual reticle it gives you is quite big, so it, it's just harder to get headshots with it. Yeah. But we've got past the hard stuff now for this. It, we're, we're, it's the rest of this uh, section's pretty smooth. We don't have to get any more headshots, which is like the worst thing in this game is trying to get like really optimal headshots because enemies can do what they want. They can duck and they can dive, they can weave, they can dot sew in, sit down, have a little nap, <laughs> they can do whatever they want. And really yeah, annoying. There was a good slam, so I'm still in shock that you got the Russian card skip. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no, that usually doesn't work yeah, for me. It looks so I'm easy, but it really fails a lot during runs. Now I want to see an AI in this game just, you know, start running and then out of nowhere sit down, have a cup of tea and just start sipping tea while, in, you know, in the middle of everything. Yeah, they just just throw down a blanket, start having a picnic. Exactly. Get out of the basket. <laughs> well, I'm just there still trying to headshot them and I can't. So then we're going to pick up some, some, some goodies. We need to make sure to keep our camera in this direction. Um, because if we're looking towards where Marlene will come from, she won't actually drop down straight away. Whereas if we look this way, she'll warp down, so... Just look this way, until we see her. And we're going to try and get ahead of her. Which can be a little bit finicky. It's not the worst thing in the world, but... It can fail. There we go. So we just kind of glide around her. Soldiers. That's a way out. So we are very close to getting to the section where we're going to meet Ellie, even though technically we don't actually meet her because we skipped the cutscene. So she's there. It's one minute she's not there, and then she is. Let's get moving. Don't worry about it. Video game logic. Yeah. Also, um, if memory serves me correct, the voice actor for is it Marlene in the game is also in the show, correct? Yeah, it's the same same character, or well, same actress playing the character in both. We just duck there, so we don't get shot, throw a ball at him. So there's, there's a lot going on, there's a lot going on in these fights. And it's really hard to try and explain everything because, as Yuranto can probably attest to it, there's so many little minute details you have to remember in this game, like when to stop sprinting, when to crouch, when to walk. Yeah. Certain things can like just get you alerted and ruin it. So right here we, we crouch because it's slightly faster. How you Technically, you're not meant to get ahead of Marlene here, but we can just fly right past her. Yeah, it, it's overall so much easier, uh, so much harder than it looks. Like during that fight that Matt just did, uh, he, he stopped sprinting for like half a second. And that made everything work. If he would have just sprinted through, it wouldn't have worked. Um, yeah, you would have got spotted straight away. Also, that restart encounter saves like 15 seconds or so. It's really big. Yeah. Joel, give me a hand with this. Okay, now Ellie's here. There she is. Come on. <laughs> yeah, first thing we do. She can follow us really slowly. Keep up. 
So we need to get into the outskirts chapter, which is um, when we go outside of the wall to try and get out of here to head towards the capital where we're meant to be meeting the fireflies or whatever. Up there. Um, yep. That'll get us to the north tunnel. Yuanto knows more about the story than me in this game because he absolutely adores this game. I'm like, I used to adore this game, now I hate it, but I'm here <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> what? I, I've played it too much, man, honestly. Technically, I've been running it longer than you have, so. Yeah. So um, it's just it's been it's been too long. I've been running this game. This was the first game that I ever speed run. Um, yep. yeah, so same for me. What inspired you to run the game? If it's your first, I just love the game. I'd, I'd never speed run before, but I just wanted a reason to keep playing it. I'd done all the trophies, I'd, I'd got all the achievements, all that stuff, and I just wanted a reason to play. So I thought I'd do a speed run. And I specifically remember that I, I streamed it on Twitch. My one friend, not my specifically one friend, but one of my friends in from, from I, I know in real life watched, and it was my time was exactly four hours. And considering how much that's changed all the, over that time, and and that was in 2015, so eight years ago. It's been a long time, and I'm still playing it for some reason. Yeah, you were like one of the first runners of this game for sure. Marlene wanted to do it herself. Yeah. We weren't their first choice. The I, I came along and started running it not long after Ant did. That's how I met Ant through, through this. And then Uranto was uh, not long after that. Yeah, for, for me, it was basically... I didn't know that speedruns... that speedrunning is a thing. And when I learned about speedrunning, The Last of Us wasn't the game I was playing at that time, so yeah, it was more or less random that I started speedrunning this. Yeah. Like, if it wasn't for this game, I wouldn't have done all the stuff I've done over these years. This game seems to have a big impact on a lot of people that play it, mm. and it's, it's just, it, it, it's a great game. It's got a great story. Um, there's not really much else to say. It's just that's just great. And if you haven't played it, you should definitely play the game before you watch the show. Though, don't do it the other way around. So I'm going to do a tiny little skip where there's a ladder, and I'm going to skip the climb on the ladder all the way by looking my camera up. And I'm going to, if you look the camera up there, you can actually grab the prompt um, before you nice. climb it. Usually, when you get on it, it will force your camera to look straight, and you can't look up. And then you can press triangle when you get to the top. But if we Start looking up and hold down triangle, we can trigger it straight away. Yeah, that's pretty precise as well. Nice. Yeah, it's also funny that, do you know, for the longest time I couldn't figure out why I couldn't do it consistently. Or at least anywhere remotely consistently, and then Ant was like, oh, you just need the flashlight on, and I'm like, okay, that makes sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> you need the flashlight on to do it. It's, it's so silly. The only time the flashlight is actually useful in this run is right there. Mm -hmm. So now here comes the cutscene where you find out Eddie's infected, and again we don't see it because skip it. Yeah, we're pretty pretty close to the end of the first episode of the TV show. Yeah, and pretty close to the first big skip of the run as well. Well, hey, what good timing! And technically, the thing that we're going to skip isn't really in the show. So true. So it's, it's just just like the show. <laughs> I'm trying to like make it as canon to the show as possible. That's one. That doing. makes sense. <laughs> so it's a little ledge here. You meant to drop down, but I'm going to try and jump um, around it. There's a little bit of time. Can be kind of finicky though. Yeah. So you can actually get all the way up without grabbing that, but better than falling down. I hear him yeah, it's better than falling down for sure. So you said earlier that in the in the cutscene, just for you know. I mean, people who may not play the game is like that that ellie had been infected how long does the infection rate last and why are the why is ellie still there Come on, ellie. i think it's like it can be different for other people but i think it's only like a couple of hours to like maybe a day you meant to turn or something like that yeah um and ellie is infected for two weeks i think But she's still kind of, she's immune and that's what this whole game's about is trying to get her to somewhere to make a cure yeah that's where you were about to doing a skip so we make it faster to the fireflies 
Yes, exactly. We need to save the world faster so we're going yeah. speedy. <laughs> Don't care about them, we just leave them behind and just run <laughs> off. It's fine. I know, because they always walk towards you anyway. They walk back to you. Yeah, this is actually... So like you answer said, coming up is the first big skip of the run. Um, so if you remember the big the big building that's leaning, that you go in, uh, we're going to skip all of that. And it's going to save about five minutes. Um, and I'll let you enter explain uh, how we do it so I can uh, concentrate on and not fail in it. <laughs> yep. But first we've got to do a little bit more running. Do restart checkpoint there to skip uh, another in-game cutscene. I say restart checkpoint, it's technically restart encounter, but I'm just so used to other games calling it checkpoint that you just call it checkpoint. Because it's called restart checkpoint in Uncharted as well. Did you want to explain uh, downtown skip? Yeah, so... Uh, in a second you will see Matt Matt climbing onto a little ledge. And that allows him to get into a position so he can get out of bounds. It's actually the first out of bounds that we use uh, in the run. And overall the skip pretty much skips the entirety of the downtown chapter. So going into the downtown building and all, all of that gets skipped. Oh, okay. Yeah, that can happen. To just run off and we're out of bounds. Yeah, now we're out of bounds. Nice. And we're going to run towards this water and jump. When I stop, I'm going to aim, hold up right. When I stop again, aim, hold up right again, I should fall. And then we just pause. That This pause is really precise because if you go too far, you'll clip through the ceiling and die. If you pause too early, it's not going to load. So you have to do it perfectly. Lock on. Now I'm going to wait until I see... Oh, actually, I'm going to turn on yeah. lock on him as well. I'm going to wait till I see all these items load in, and I'm going to unpause. Yeah, and uh, we pause here to load Ellie and Tess into this area. Because if you... If you yeah, if you don't do that, they'll yeah, You die. can technically just uh, go down there without pausing, and Joel will be fine. But um, the game will restart the checkpoint for you, because Ellie and well, Tess... You can't go straight down without pausing. You have to pause to let it load first. But as soon as you see the water in the background, you can then unpause, but then they will die. That's why we have to wait for the items to spawn. Oh, yeah. um, if the items don't spawn in and you unpause, they'll they'll, they'll, they'll die. Someone in. Yes, yeah, we just skipped all of downtown. Yeah, there was already the skip. It saves many minutes. <laughs> I don't know exactly how much, uh, how many. And there is a skip here where we can skip the entirety of the museum. I'm going to do it. Hell yeah. No, I'm not. I'm joking. <laughs> It's, it's, it's the worst thing in the world. We'll pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> so we shoot there in a specific spot um, to make these enemies run out through the front. And then we can just... Excuse me? What? <laughs> what? Okay. I've never seen that happen before in my life. Uh, I... <laughs> I've never seen them run back in. I'm very confused. They want to be featured on the GDQ stage. Yeah, they just want to be on the on the yeah, stream. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, so there is a skip here where you can put this against the wall in a certain way, and once you let go, you can get launched all the way up there onto that ledge. But it's like the the most random, inconsistent thing in existence, and I would never do it ever. <laughs> it is possible, but like task task level. Yeah, it took me five hours to get once. I will never try it in wow. a while. Wow! <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not a fun experience. It took me like 15 hours just to figure it out and get it once on video. So, it's not fun. But now we're entering the museum. Someone in yep. chat said it earlier that when you went out of bounds, they said it, they said it in chat. Like, I don't remember that part in the TV show. <laughs> On your shoe. Well, technically, technically, it's canon because you don't go into that building in the TV show. So we just did the same thing. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We just skipped over <laughs> it. You never yeah. see the downtown building in, in the TV I show. So right we here, we're going to get the revolver and our Molotov. Very useful. We need those. 
We are also in episode two now. Yeah. I'm going to grab our first med kit right here, which is actually quite useful because we do need it later on to do a skip. Um, which you'll, you'll you'll see when we get to that point. But that's still a ways away yet. Yeah, that's like another one, like 45 minutes until we get to that point. It's a long game. I'm going to try and strike here. It, it might fail. That's fine if it does. I'm going to shoot. And hopefully I can be infected will run a certain way so I can just run. Okay, no, never mind. So you can, if you shoot there, you can actually just run straight to this door sometimes, but sometimes they're just like, oh, and then they come towards you and then you can't. So. I think they just know that we're on GDQ, so they're just trying to go off a little bit. Yeah, just so we ignore that guy, just open the door. Now we're meant to save Ellie, right here. But I don't want to save her, so I'm just gonna just gonna run past. <laughs> Rip that guy. It's cool. <laughs> I mean, she's alright. She's alright. Look, she's fine. I mean, Ellie's strong. That's save her. It's Ellie fine. is very strong. So, well, she's at this point anyways. in the game, technically, she's not. She 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 grows throughout it. True. She becomes badass later. Not yet. That's why she got grabbed, obviously, because she's she's not got the skills yet. <laughs> and another research checkpoint to skip another in-game cutscene. Um, so, so actually, um, if you didn't know, there is a section in this game where you do play as Ellie. Um, and when this game was coming out, they said that you never play as Ellie, and they lied, which they also lied a lot about in The Last of Us 2 as well, but I won't get into that. So... Um, yeah, there is a section where you play as Ellie, and in my opinion, for the speed run and for the just the gameplay in general, that part is the best in terms of technical fights and all that. It's really good. Um, it is. I've uh, got I want the to most say going one, on. One thing. Uh, yes. One thing quickly. Uh, the recent encounter that Mitch just did also allowed him to run faster through the oh, entire yeah, yeah. section here. Uh, he would jog a little bit slower and lose a few seconds if you. Don't do the restart checkpoint there. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just wanted to add that. Yeah, I think in a couple of other spots we also get the same properties where we can actually uh, run instead of walking slow by restarting as well. So, oh, not quit the main menu. That'd be bad. So now Tess is dead. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> I mean. She was. She got bit in the museum, and now she's dead. So yeah. You you see her in a minute. The camera makes very good, uh, very good point. Zooming into her being dead down there. There she is. Just resting. We're just gonna run past them. I'm gonna get our first good gun, which is the rifle. As soon as we pick it up, we're gonna shoot. We also skip the animation of picking it up there by running and triggering this fight before we pick it up, and it just picks it up without having to look at it, which is very handy. Now we're going to use our first Molotov. And New Game Plus Molotovs are amazing and I love them a lot. So we're going to crouch, sprint forward, throw. So what we do is we crouch there to make sure that... Um, I probably shouldn't be doing this because I haven't even explained it yet. I'll explain <laughs> this, this, this weapon switching thing in the next chapter. It's fine, I don't have time. Because um, we do it again in a minute. So... So yeah, I forgot what I was saying there. I've lost my train of thought completely. Uh, uh. <laughs> and I was talking about Molotovs and then I oh, just yeah. it, it went away. Oh yeah, we crouch. So yeah, um, we crouch because when you throw a Molotov, if you're somewhat near the radius, it will stun you. And then you can't move for a second. But if you crouch, or if you are crouched when it blows up, it won't do that. Yeah, so this right here is uh, one of the most important cutscenes probably in the game. Um, because yeah. Joel sees Ellie uh, breathing spores without having a mask on. And that's where Joel starts believing Ellie that she's actually immune. Do you want to explain the weapon switching, by the way? Yep. Uh, so what you see now, it's a trick called weapon switching. And 
if you if you switch to a pistol or something else in your inventory and then mash the inventory like Mad Matt just did, that kind of soft locks Joel. So what um, the, like the reason Matt just did it there was to maintain sprint speed. Um, yeah, he pretty much um, would have lost the sprint speed if he wasn't doing the weapon switch, but. He started the sprint, then started the weapon switch, and that allowed him to maintain the sprint speed, and that saves a few seconds. And you will see that like probably more often throughout the run. If it's that, that yeah. I'm gonna do another skip here if you want to explain this one as well. Yeah. Um, so pretty much in this game with pellets and dumpsters and all, you can go out of bounds in most places. <clears throat> so you have to place it against the wall. And then you can, like, clip into the corner and then move out of bounds with Joel. And now Matt is positioning Joel. Um, like he's setting him up to swim into this specific direction and he's trying to swim into the cutscene that triggers the next chapter. And there we go. This and now we're going to see Bald Alley. Yeah, look Get at Get ready for Bald There's Bald Alley. Beautiful. There she is. <laughs> that is a side effect of doing that skip, is we get bald alley. Yeah. <laughs> I just want... I... That doesn't save much time, that skip only saves like about 15, 20 seconds. But it's still time saved, so... And it's not too difficult, so we do it. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this, that's all. Yeah. There is a skip later on that I'm not going to do because it's actually extremely difficult. And it only saves like 30 seconds. I was going to try it, but I haven't practiced it, so that's I'm not going to do that. Yeah, that skip also really raises the skill bar of the speedrun, because if you wouldn't do the skip, you would just like wait there for 20 seconds for Ellie uh, until she drops the ladder and all, and doing that skip actually um, makes you do something in the run. And that, that also yeah. won't be the last time you see an out-of-bounds like that. And now we're in uh, Billstown, which uh, is technically episode three of the show, but the correlation between the game and the show is it's all different. There's nothing the same. Um, but episode three is a, is a great show, though. Well, there's a, it is yeah, a good episode, correlation. but the, the the correlation between the two is just it's, there's nothing that's the same. There's nothing there yeah, except that there is. The only the only thing is the characters. Everything else is yep. different. I mean, in in the show, Ellie doesn't even meet Bill, which is a travesty in its own right. We're <laughs> <laughs> so gonna do a little trick here. Um, so we're gonna go into here. We don't technically need to go in here. Um, but I'm going to go in here, go all the way to the other end. I'm going to pick this up, which we don't need to do, but we're just coming down here to waste some time. Because now Eddie's going to try and whistle. And he's going to be like, you don't know how to whistle, and blah, 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 blah. Because what this does is it'll allow us to grab, it'll skip the dialogue and grab this uh, ledge a bit sooner than you normally would be able to. So usually you'd be waiting here for, what is it, like five more seconds, maybe? Something yeah, like that. Probably even more. And then as soon as I gain control, I'm going to shoot. Which is going to alert a clicker. Yeah, shooting here allows you to sprint. Otherwise, you couldn't sprint. Yep. And then we're going to do another weapon switch. To keep sprint speed down this uh, street. Yep, without weapon switch, he would lose sprint speed right now. And it might look like I'm doing something funky. I'm not, I promise. I'm just spamming my D-pad. <laughs> No! I've lost it. I just want I, I want. We can do it again here as well to speed up here to a little bit. Because you get slowed down here as well. I just want that to this happen in Season 2 where Pedro is just, just doing that hand motion while running. Yeah, he's just, just spamming his arms <laughs> everywhere. Just trying to, yeah. That would be one of Bill's traps. And now we're going to do Bill's trap skip, which... I only get one try. If it fails, I'm going to have to load a safety save. It shouldn't, but you never know. We're both going to do a little tiny skip here. Uh, if you want to explain this one with the with the plank you enter. Yeah, so he pressed triangle uh, to pick up the um, plank right when Joel f uh, fell off uh, the truck. And that made Joel um, pick up the plank from the other side. Um, 
and the, the normal way yeah, the normal way to do it uh, would be um, you would need to wait for Ellie to go uh, on the other side uh, but since that is slow we just uh, teleport Joel to, to the other side and um, yeah I know I'm making you do a lot of work as well but can you explain those traps so I can garden straight I'm not very limited. yeah uh, yeah, this is probably like the second big skip in the run, and it, it skips the... I locked on to that right away. Oh no, I've got lock on turned on, don't I? Never mind. Yeah. I was wondering why, why, it, why it locked on to it. Okay. <laughs> um, so what he did there, he switched to 30 FPS to uh, change the loading times of the game. And this bottle throw here is really, really specific. Okay, you got it, nice. Uh, there yeah. would usually be a door where he just like passed through the doorway and that door triggers the fight but with the 30 FPS and uh, activating the bombs in a different way um, he pretty much despawned the door. Now he's running back and forth over the triggers for the next door and that despawns the next door as well or rather unloads this door. What? Just run back and... Uh, yeah, but this, sometimes this door loads in. I don't know why that didn't work, that's very strange. Yeah, sometimes it's weird, but you can just go back and always try again. So you're basically just running to load triggers there to like confuse the game, to like load this area like really slowly. We can get through this door. Yep, and now it's despawned. I door. got worried then for a second. <laughs> I've never seen it actually load that fast. Let me turn off 30 FPS again. Yeah, you really don't want to play in 30 FPS. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that would be horrible. Nice, that was the second big skip in the run. And that skips the entire fight. Found everything you need. We're good. I think this is the most pistol ammo I've ever had. So we're gonna do a little Bill Manip here. Bill Nip, as we say. We don't, no one says that. I just made that up. Um, <laughs> so we're going to stop walk, stop running at a certain point on these stairs, walk a second, and then start sprinting again. He's going to sprint forward, we're going to wait here a second, then run again, and that will push him out of the way. Um, if we don't do that, he walks through this area really slowly. We can't get past him. He stands at these windows for 10 minutes, and it's very slow. So yeah, you, we're just going to zoom past him. You can't move because he's standing right in front of you. <laughs> Yeah. And we're going to do some more fighting. And this is where you're going to see the beauty of the oh, yeah. rifle. And the beauty of lock on aiming. We're just going to snipe everyone. I actually, no, there's no lock on aiming. I'm not cheating. I'm just. This is all skill, what you're going to see. No. Okay. For some reason, it. Yeah. What's going on? That's fine. Oh, okay, so the bomb was meant to do damage to them, but it apparently did nothing. <laughs> That's really bad. Oh, no. That's oh, really no. bad, actually. I just wasted all my revolver ammo. Mm, I'm One of the enemies in the next area should drop some. Yeah, so the lock-on aiming fell me there. It didn't actually... It missed a shot for some reason. It's not meant to. Um, where's Ellie? This way. It's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, professional. So I, I don't even... Pick up some supplies there. I don't even think we talk about it, but... Uh, yeah, the lock on aiming is, a, is an option in the game, like a, a setting in the game. And Matt Matt turned it on during the downtown skip 10 minutes ago, when we had to pause to load the next area. Because you really don't want to start the run with lock on aiming turned on, because in the slums fight where you have to do all the headshots, it's almost impossible to get headshots with lock-on aiming. Um, so, yeah, because it aims on the body and you have to then like drag the aim up and it's really slow. Yeah. And since, since we have to pause at the downtown skip anyways, you have time to um, turn it on there. You can also do it um, during Pittsburgh skip as well, which is going to come up in a bit. That's yeah, usually what I do. This is This is actually the first ever run that I'm doing, turning it on in downtown skip. That's why I was very shocked that I locked onto those bombs. <laughs> I thought I just had God, God tier aim, I'm not gonna lie, until then I realized, oh, it's locking off. 
the shit that they overlooked. Many runners don't even use the lock on aiming. A few months back, uh, I mean, me and Uranto didn't use it for years. A lot of us just we never we used it at all. Yeah, it, but it probably saves a few seconds. So, uh, yeah, then I uh, we started using it then since it's any person. Needs a car. I can never climb through this window doing that that way. It never works. So you meant to like push up against Bill's bum bum <laughs> and you can jump through the window and clip past him. Um, there is a different way to do it where you get ahead of him and then wait. So you clip inside of him, but it's a little bit slower. Um, I tried to do the faster variant, it didn't work. So right now, we're going to do the best skip. Um, so in this next area, the sprint animation or the jog animation, should I say, sorry, is not loaded in memory when you get into this area. So if we hold down sprint here, we can keep the jog animation. And if we keep holding it down, um, once we walk down here, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna tee pose and just, we're just gonna slide. And the enemies can't actually hear us or see us because we're sliding. <laughs> we're, just, we're just literally walk through this area. Maybe. Now what? No big deal. Why this wasn't is a funny this? One. Why wasn't that in the HBO show? I think that would have been great. Hold up, I got a key for that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't believe that they just removed that. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe in season two. So we molotov them so they don't grab Bill and uh, Ellie. I'm just gonna hopefully do this fast enough that we can trigger the ending. Is this it, this can be kind of finicky. Okay, it worked. Okay, good. Nice. Do you want to do that a certain way so you can actually open this door? Uh, is Bill bugged out? No. Why is he standing on top of me? Because he's weird. <laughs> That's a good point. NPCs. Right. So this Bill can bug out here, and it's very sad if he does. Then do some more weapon switching again. Oh no, that's bad. That's bad. It's fine. I accidentally, my, my thumb slipped off the left stick and I just stood there. And we weapon switch there to delay them alert, uh, hearing us so we can just um, run. That was a good graveyard. Straight through it without having to kill them. It was alright. Get a trigger there to move Bill. Gonna grab some stuff. Did you have to wait for him to talk? Do some goodies. And I'm gonna do it. So but right now we're actually doing a skip. You might not even realize that we are. So we abused load triggers there, and what that does is it stops the enemies in this area from spawning straight away. So as you can see, there's no infected when there's meant to be infected walking around, but there's not. Um, I'm going to do a really funky skip here if you want to explain it with the when you kill yourself. Oh yeah, I almost forgot that. Um, yeah, so en the enemies spawned in right now, and. Um, what we want to do is kill every enemy, uh, like every runner, but one, uh, except for one runner. Uh, and you want to... Excuse me, kill, Bill. <laughs> you want to kill Joel in the same moment as you kill the last runner, which is the easiest to do with a bomb, since it instantly kills you. And, yeah, and then we just... It yeah, this just was, ends the fight, but... This was pretty much a death warp. So Joel and the runner died in the same exact moment and that ends the fight, puts you right to the next checkpoint and on top of that... You get all your stuff yeah, back. You get, yeah, you get and all the drops are back. doubled as well. Yep. But so a good side much. effect of it is Ellie and Bill are now invisible. <laughs> oh yeah, that as well. So you have like okay. lots of shotgun ammo. Uh, you can use all your stuff in the fight to make it quicker since you get it back and it's also faster. Yeah. This is very bad though because I've got no revolver ammo. So go, 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 you two, go. I don't know what to do for the blower. Um, it looks so weird. He, Joel's just directing nothing. Oh, I forgot the blower. You can. Yeah. Uh, I can use the rifle. I can probably use one rifle shot. Yeah, and then the revolver and then that are in the revolver. Fight. Um, maybe these, one of these enemies will uh, drop on. We'll grab a bomb here for later. Oh, thank you. Two bullets. That's all I needed. <laughs> <laughs> and you can actually uh, reload cancel as well. Or pump cancel, should I say. Tell me open this. 
if you just quickly switch weapons. So this is going to be kind of finicky now because I'm going to have to reload the revolver. So what we need to do here, we can take the bloater out by shooting his weak points with our armor on. So one of those is his foot. We can shoot it five times with the revolver and it'll go down. Um, but I need to revolve, re reload my revolver and also pick up this ammo that's next to me as well. Oh, it's only three. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, this is kind of like a boss fight and the bloater has armor. Ah. Oh. It has that's armor fine. on. I, I just have to waste a rifle. That's not fine. that important anyway, so... What? Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so the problem with using lock on aim, and that's the reason why people don't turn it on during downtown skip, is it because it makes aiming at him really difficult. Because the aim is constantly trying to push away from him. Which is makes it really bad. Nice. There we are. I, I, I restarted a bit too soon. I didn't see the proper dialogue. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so... When you're trying to lock onto him, that's why I was aiming the brick or the Molotov first, because if you do that and then switch to the uh, revolver, it doesn't lock onto him. But the aim still constantly tries to force itself back onto the bloater. And it's like, it's really hard to fight against. That's why people usually don't turn it on until Pittsburgh. That was really bad. Oh, well. Oh, so the reason why he shot the bloater's le leg is because the, the bloater is like a boss fight and he has armor on its body and except for the legs so i remember like back then we were throwing like five molotovs and bombs at him <laughs> yeah uh, was it me that found the revolver thing with the leg i think it was i, th I think it was you yeah and especially it's such a lifesaver because it makes the fight so easy to do as well yep especially on new game plus with the upgraded revolver yeah, because the revolver shoots really slow on new game. Yep. You should probably search the house. I'm sure, there's more supplies. Good idea. Let me I'm gonna have to use the pistol for the first Pittsburgh fight because I'm revolver. Yeah, so my, th that one fight where I wasted all my revolver ammo is the whole reason why that went really bad. Because usually I'd have the ammo, but I wasted it all because the the two. Clickers that run into the bomb, it didn't actually damage them. And clickers are the most tankiest enemies, so you have to shoot them a lot to kill them. Right here, I'm going to do a little trick. So I'm going to shoot this clicker right as it spawns in. What that does is it stops the other enemies from spawning in. Um, so there'd usually be two more enemies, but if we shoot it straight away to alert it, the others don't spawn. And then there's going to be a runner down here. There's going to be a bunch of enemies that are going to spawn. I'm going to wait for the runner to run left. Then I'm going to get off and throw a bomb to try and kill the ones on the left while I deal with the ones on the right. Okay, she didn't do that. It's fine. That was fine. Nice. I'm going to actually play it safe here. What? My gun didn't shoot. So I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm going to grab this shotgun ammo. Um, just because I've got a lack of uh, revolver ammo. And sometimes, depending on what drops you get in Pittsburgh, it cannot be fun if you don't have enough shotgun ammo. So I'm just going to take some extra. Oh, she's going to grab me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's close. And that's, uh, that's Bill's Town. That's episode three. And now we're on to Pittsburgh, which is uh, episode, is it four? Yep. Yeah. Well, it's changed a little bit, but yeah. And yeah, it's not in. this is the chapter with the hardest skip in the game. Yep. And the most unforgiving one if it fails. <laughs> it uh, my plan is to time. try it twice. If it fails the second time, I'm just going to load a safety save. And, uh, Preferable, because that safety save actually has revolver ammo on it, so uh, I'd be safe there. 
it's also really interesting uh, for those for you two that are um, watching the game and running it. Like, Jack's doing a really good job helping with the cutscene skipping since this is a very story intensive. And I really appreciate the people, the people in chat who are also helping with, you know, those who may not have played the game help with the storyline and plot and everything like that. Yeah, most of the story is in the cutscenes. So when you're skipping them in the speed run, you don't really get to see much of it, if at all. So, yeah. So I'm going to try and get some headshots. I'm going to have to use the normal pistol, though, because I don't have no ammo for the revolver. Yeah, this fight also is on a timer, as long as you don't go too slow. So right, right here... Yeah, we don't, we don't really have to rush this. Yeah, right here it doesn't matter too much how fast he kills them. Because there will be a second wave of enemies spawning in after Where's like 30 seconds. Yeah, we just need to get them just gone. But not too slow. Yep. I don't know if I've got ammo in my pistol, you know. Okay, I do. I've got loads. So he's like spawn tripping. Should we kill these ones as they spawn? Yeah, spawn yeah. tripping the last three enemies. Those ones are on a timer. So as long as we get there before they spawn, we don't lose any time there. Um, so yeah, that's that fight, that fight that I just did right there is one of the ones that's also harder with lock on aim. Any any fight where you have to get headshots with a pistol or a revolver is going to be harder with lock on aim. The main reason we use lock on aim is it just allows to just quick scope people with the rifle, pretty much. That's the only reason we use it. And it, it does save a lot of time, so you have to kind of do it at this point now. Especially if you're going for a good time. Yeah, especially later in in winter and in dam, it saves lots of time. Yeah. Not so much in winter per se, but in dam for sure it saves a lot. A hell of a lot. Yeah. So coming up in a second is is where that skip was I was talking about that I'm not going to attempt to do. Um, to this, we'll, we'll just forget that exists because it's really hard actually. So you went so cheated when he did it in his run. To be honest, <laughs> you just got lucky. It's fine. True. Wait for me. What? Right here. How about you? Let me go first. So I'm good on rifle. Lacking on revolver, but that's as long as I've got enough pistol, then having a low revolver count is, is fine. We only really need it for a section coming up in a bit. Um, it's not that big of a deal. As long as we've got some pistol ammo. This fight here is also interesting because it usually spawns like six or five enemies. But if you are going fast, what? like Mad Matt does right now, you have only three enemies. Why is my shotgun like not killing people? Can you explain to me? I don't know. We got the smoke bomb there as well. Smoke bomb is very important. True. Also, I need to point this out as well. When you pick up an item for the first time, then it allows you to craft it. You can't craft it until you picked it up at least once. Yeah, me too. For every item we'll pick up at least once, and then we can craft them after that. So that's not the place where you're actually meant to get the smoke bomb. Um, but if you skip the place where you're meant to pick it up. Um, then it, it'll keep spawning it until you actually pick it up. Nice, I got alerted way earlier there. Nice. You know, come to think of it, I, maybe maybe I'm forgetting, but I don't think Dole in the TV show ever gets a bat. No, I don't think he does. Uh... Maybe I'm just misremembering that. That's why I'm like, I can't fully remember. Oh, you're right, you're right, I think. No melee. And now we're going to do the hardest skip in the game, if you want to explain it. So I can try and concentrate on not failing it, because it loses a lot of time if I fail it. Yeah, so this is uh, this is what we call Pittsburgh skip. Right. It's the biggest skip of the entire us. run. And it pretty much skips the entire hotel building, um, the hotel basement, uh, the financial district fight, and a little bit of movement in between. And it says about 14 minutes, I think, over Glitchless, which is a lot in this game, so... Yeah, it's definitely is it, huge. Maybe I'm misremembering. Um, it, it's a lot, <laughs> at least. 
It's a lot. That's all you need to know. It's a lot of time. So right here, it's the same technique as uh, as we see in, in Capital, where we had Bold, uh, Bold Alley um, going out of bounds with a pallet here. That is just the first part of the skip, getting out of bounds. Yeah. And now what Mad Matt tries to do is uh, he's going into the corner um, and set up Joel to face a spe at a specific angle. And then he's going to swim forward for, I don't know, 20 seconds or so. And he's going to try to load in in one of the later sections of the game. So the goal here is to hit that per perfect angle. That looks good. Yeah, that, that looks good so far. And he's uh, the reason he uh, he started diving is because Joel moves faster while diving. Um, and now... So we're going to wait for our air to deplete enough, and then we're going to start swimming up. We're basically right now swimming under the financial district area. Yep. I didn't see any of this in the show. <laughs> no. We are below the map, so Matt is swimming up right now. To get like into the next area, and as soon as you see Joel floating, you wanna pause to load in the next area. This is looking good so far. And now you could just look at the background, and when you see that the background is fully loaded in, you can unpause, and then you wanna float into the next checkpoint here. <laughs> and nobody's gonna die. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Yeah, he could tell, and that was the entire skip. That was really nice. And this right here is the next skip. This skips the entire fight. And you oh no! Unfortunately, you, you <laughs> now she dead. Don't worry about it. You have to kill Ellie for that. It is actually a strat in the speech run to kill Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that basically, when we do that big skip and then we load in and we reach our checkpoint, Excuse if we run into that corner, turn around, it will unload the level and it will just kill all the enemies. Um. So that skip, we literally just did two skips back to back. But an unfortunate, I wouldn't call it an unfortunate side effect. I'd call it a fantastic <laughs> side effect of doing it. Is that he just dropped down dead? So it's funny. You can actually pick up her pistol for a second, which doesn't even exist in the game. So I, on, yeah, you 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 can pick up at his pistol, and it's really tiny in Joel's hands. Um, there is another point where you can get it consistently, and that's in uh, in, in university. So in university, if you if you shoot Elliot at a certain point with a flamethrower, she'll actually die. They never fixed it. I don't think. Um, and you can pick up a pistol, and it looks really small. So I take it that's going to be deleted scenes on the uh, extended Blu-ray. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So this was this was a really good skip. Like that Pittsburgh skip looks like it's really way harder than it looks, and it's also very. Because of how far you're swimming, it's a very tight angle you're aiming at, yeah. and you don't really have much in the way of like visual cues so like really line it up consistently so you're kind of just setting it up and hoping for the best which is why it's the hardest to do in the yeah, game it, it's really precise if you just like swim a few pixel further right or left then it immediately won't work and on top of that it's really punishing if you miss it you will lose like two minutes yeah also, coming up soon, we're going to get into the toy store. As soon as we get in there, I'm going to close my window because I am absolutely freezing. <laughs> and my nose is running because it's that cold. Oh, no. So oh, no. It's, it's not helping. My hands have gone and freezing. Jumping through the window here, we are actually getting into episode five. You. Yeah, so is um, Henry and Sam and the boys. Yeah, Henry and Sam. Henry, the one who thinks he does everything when he actually doesn't. He doesn't do anything. So we're going to do a little trick here, a little trick. We, we want to try and get ahead of Henry, right of which will allow players. us to jog if we get far enough ahead of him. So we're going to vault out. Excuse me? Okay. okay. That's not good. Yeah. We're going to vault over these and hopefully jog. Okay, that should, that should work. Nice. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so I will, I'm going to hit this and I'm going to close my window. I'm freezing. Well, I was going to ask. Yeah, that was really... Get away from the windows. Sorry. Oh, I was going to ask if you wanted to take the break now. Do that. But speed run strats. Oh. Well, <laughs> there's not much downtime to be fair. After the start of the game, you don't really get much downtime to do anything. 
there's there's like maybe this cutscene and then the sniper section and it, it's not much. Is practically empty. What's the world Which is funny because the entire first five minutes of the run is you just do nothing. What is it? Yeah, yeah. This this category has actually less breaks than other categories since you skip parts where you could take a break. Yeah. So this is where I wanted the revolver ammo, um, but now I don't have it, and I'm um, so I'm gonna have to use the pistol, but it should be fine. Yeah. The reason we want to use the revolver is because it's a two shot, whereas the pistol is a three shot. So I'm gonna headshot this guy, and then one, two, three. I'll do. You can kill them faster with the revolver. That's the main reason why. Not bad, old timer. I'm gonna shoot this guy, run past this guy, he's gonna follow us. I'm gonna throw a brick at him, wait for Henry, shoot him, he's gonna die. Wait for Henry again, I'm gonna throw my bomb down that was nice. at a specific point. Through the and hopefully we've duped the bomb. Oh, that yeah, that works. You sure yes, there you go. So now we get an extra bomb. If we throw it down before it triggers, it'll throw it down, but it'll give us ads back. Yeah, there was a nail bomb duplication. Uh, oh. Is is throwing bricks important, or are you just throwing a brick because it's concerning ammo, or because it, because it's a brick? Um, it depends in what way you use it. So like right there, we do it just to like stop the guy in his tracks, pretty much. Um, but if you like throw a brick at an enemy and then hit him with a melee weapon, it's going to one shot them. If you just hit them with a the melee weapon, it's not going to one shot them. So I'm going to try and do a little skip here. If we melee at the right time, we can clip through Henry. It, yeah, the, reason why, the reason why Matt used the brick there was because um, we are um, relying on Henry. So the, the checkpoint triggers when Henry uh, walks like in front of the door or next to the door. So if Matt would have just killed the last enemy as soon as possible, that would make Henry go slower. That's why yeah, he stopped That's why he down. threw the brick. So he so Also when you're in the backpack, um nothing has collision with you, so Henry's gonna open this door and we're just gonna go through it a little bit sooner. And then we're gonna we're gonna blaze through this fight or not because my gun won't fire. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, he's hiding. I didn't throw that far enough, did I? It fell down. That's bad. Oh, that was unlucky. So, I, I missed through the first bomb. It didn't actually, the bomb was meant to land up top and blow them up, but it bounced off the front of the ledge and fell down. Oh well. And then we're gonna do another quick scope on this guy. It actually saves time killing him. Call of Duty with lock on him. You don't. You don't. Like if you don't. Yeah, because then Henry has to kill If him. you don't kill him, Henry will kill him. But that's a, a few seconds slower. We're good, Sam. Let's go. Um. So there is a little trick you can do here. So there's always been a bug that we've known. Um, where the camera would glitch out and you wouldn't have like full control over it and it would start spazzing out. We found a way to fix it by just waiting a second before you press this triangle prompt. But for whatever reason, um, when I do that, I, I haven't practiced it enough and I keep getting alerted in the next area, so I'm still just going to do the checkpoint restart because I'm just used to it. Um, it saves like maybe a second or two not having to do it, but it just makes it more easy for me to do the next part. It's really interesting, all the changes. Like, they're minor, but not at the same time. Yeah. To the show? The HBO yeah. show? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the, in the HBO show, it also takes place in... Uh... Not Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot the name. And someone wrote it in chat. Um, hold on. To just wipe out all those enemies K with one Kansas City. Kansas City. Mm. So it's Kansas City in the show, but Pittsburgh in the game, where we are right now. So the two little cutscenes that I managed to trigger here, one where you get stunned right here and look at the truck. If we run towards that car, it won't happen. 
And then a, we can skip a standard ground animation by shooting this explosive uh, canister before we actually run to it. it. Saves a little bit of time. And now we are done with Pittsburgh. What? Okay. Well, that was <laughs> bad. I haven't done a frame perfect pause in a long yeah, time. I need to quit out So now we're going to suburbs and sewers. It was is the this is the last point where we're going to do the final skip of the game. Um, it is quite a decent amount of skips, but most of them are at the start. Um, and after this point, when we do this last one, there's going to be no more, sadly. Keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, at, at least no big ones. But we're still going to do some some glitchy yeah, things. Yeah, there was two any percent tricks and uh, glitches, but. Yeah, no, no big skips anymore after this chapter. Oh no, okay. See, my hands are that cold that I didn't <laughs> press it fast enough and it went back down. One more. Warm my hands up. Yeah, this is the sewers. Um, this is this is the level why I mainly wanted to get as much shotgun ammo as I could find, which is why I picked up some extra at the end of Bill's Town. Hey, flashlights out. Now we can better crouch. Someone's finally learning. <laughs> Which way? I mean, I only did one singular D rust attempt before this, this and I think this is going better than that, so it's fine. It's, it's yeah, really it's phenomenal and so far. When I said, when I said that I need, oh, thank you. <laughs> When I said that I needed the health kit to do a skip, this is the one. Um, so right here, we're meant to like get Ellie in the water, use a pallet, all that fun stuff, and then get another pallet, and then move it over, and then, then it's it's it's. It, we don't, I don't want to do that. I'm going to come over here, <coughs> and I'm going to get into this uh, into this corner. I'm going to aim at a specific spot. It's not too specific, but then I'm going to hold forward and heal at the same time. If I've done correctly, I'll just pop through the floor. And now we're out of bands. Nice. nice. I'm going to swim over here, as soon as we leave the water, we're going to swim up. And then we should land on top of this roof. Yeah, well, you can regain control if you swim over a water area. It will make Joel, like, regain control. It's the only way you can regain control during that swim. We're going to run up here and hit a checkpoint. For some reason, that checkpoint right there for this actually extends a little tiny bit through the roof and we can actually hit it with our feet. Um, and that says about a minute and a half, and that's the last Big skip done. Mm. Nice. Man, I love that skip. Because it really just skips oh, like two minutes of just slow movement and nothing. waiting. And, all. and boring stuff. Yeah, you're really not skipping yeah. uh, any interesting stuff with it. And that's really cool. Also, I really enjoy the fact that you you swim, you go under, and then you swim, swim for, go up on of the roof of a building. So I'm just imagining Joel just swimming, climbing up a building, and some people just... Staring at Joel swimming upwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, but like when you actually go outside, it's not just all out of bounds. Yeah, I'm cool. I wish it was real life. Just just walk out the front door and you just <laughs> out of the map, fall, that, fall out of bounds and die. Huh? And also, Matt Matt used the Molotov to kill the last enemies there uh, because that allows him to sprint longer. Yeah. You could just, uh, if we shoot kill them, them, we just the... jog straight away. Yeah. So this next room is really annoying. Yeah, it's also one of the RNG heavier fights of the run. Yeah, and it's the reason why I picked up the bottle in that bar, because we're going to use it here. So how does RNG play in a game like this? Um, like, is it... Is it um, to where, like, a certain art, if it's bad RNG, it could almost destroy the run? Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, it's pretty much, um, like, here in this fight, for example, it's pretty much enemy patterns. Okay. Um, like, sometimes a stalker, in this case, decides to run to the left. Sometimes he, he runs to the... Uh, he comes closer to you. And that's random. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's mo so RNG in this game is mostly depending on the enemy patterns. Is that enemy? Yeah, like what an enemy decides to do, whether they decide to shoot and hit you or 
But you get alerted sometimes. Enemy placement, all that stuff can be random. And ammo drops. And like 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 you Anto said, right there, it's there's one stalker that can be in like three or four different places. And, and ammo drops overall aren't consistent either. Like they are not entirely random. We usually know what weapons we can use for a certain fight, but it's not like you get the exact yeah. same drops every time. Most of the time you're fine. Like it's consistent enough to where like you're probably gonna be fine. Yeah. But like sometimes you could have like 15 shotgun bullets and the game will drop you shotgun ammo. And then sometimes you could have like <laughs> two and the game will drop you revolver ammo instead. It's just one of those things. So this right here is the last fight of the sewers chapter. And this fight is on a timer as well. Yeah. So you only want to make sure to not die. Like you don't have to kill a single enemy in this fight. Uh, you pretty much just need to survive for like 50 seconds or so. The only thing that would make the fight slower is Henry get getting a plus sign. I will be killing enemies so, though to keep them out of my way. And I'm also going to find use that medkit I picked up. I just go to full heal here because we're going to take a lot of damage in this next section. So we yeah. want to make sure we've got enough health. And I'm just going to wait. I'm going to try and stagger them as, as much as I can. Um, to just kind of chill for a bit. Yeah, also, also enemies are spawning infinitely here, I think. Like you can kill them all, but the game will just spawn the uh, next wave of infected. Yeah. And pretty much until the fight is over. Lock on aim is actually kind of annoying in this section. <laughs> yeah. Because you could be like, a clicker could be coming towards you and you'll aim at a runner next to it instead. And there are so many clickers. I just wasted a lot of. I know. I just wasted so much shotgun ammo, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. At this point, we don't really need too much shotgun ammo anymore anyway, so. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's better than losing health or so. Yeah, because we need as much help as we can get for the next section. Look at this. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, actually, I'll, uh, someone in chat expl um, someone in chat said it said that in there. But for those who are watching this on YouTube, which by the way, uh, hello YouTube, uh, be sure to hit the like button video and subscribe to the channel. Also, head on over to twitchtv GDQ if you're interested in. Or twitch.tv slash games no quick if you're interested in looking at our live content starting weeknights at 7, weeknight, weekends at 1 p.m. Uh, question was since you talked about it, Henry getting a plus line, what does that mean? Hey, look at that. Um, so that means any like AI companion that you have along with you can actually get grabbed. Um, in a lot of situations, you can just kind of like leave them to it, let them get on with it. And um, it will eventually go away if you get to a certain point or a certain distance away or hit a certain trigger. But in some sections, if they get grabbed, you have to save them. And um, it's very slow and it's also very annoying. And it's also random, which is another like true instance of RNG. Yeah, so pretty much uh, it, it will be a game over if the plus sign fills in entirely. Fucking sniper. So the plus sign is on a timer and you have to free the... Yeah. NPC in that time, otherwise you will game over and have to restart no. the fight. And the harder the difficulty, the faster it kills up. So if you're grinded, it's going to put up a lot, a hell of a lot faster yeah. than I'm easy. So we're going to just, we're going to run towards the sniper directly, but we're going to do it at an angle. So we get shot at, but it won't actually stun us. So we're going to like just kind of strafe side to side. And this is why we needed a lot of health. Okay, why did that one stun me? So if, if you get shot here and stunned, then the sniper will guarantee miss the next two shots. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Ooh. Oh, get me go. out of here. Oh no. <laughs> For some reason, I got I got stunned way earlier than I was meant to, and, that just, yeah. and I threw the Molotov really also, early. That, also, was that, wasn't, that wasn't bad. This is a common outcome with the health um, and that's why we said you re you really don't want to lose health at the end of sewers because this fight even on easy mode is very tight 
Yeah, we take a lot of damage. Yeah, even with an absolute perfect fight, you will only have like one bar of health left. I'm just gonna snipe some dudes in a specific way. We can actually skip some uh, some spawns. Oh, I hurt his helmet, dude! Come on. <laughs> That's unlucky. Yeah, some. some yeah, so even though I got a headshot, I didn't kill him because I hit his helmet. Yeah. This is one of the fights where you don't want to this headshot really anyone. So this guy is gonna come, and we're gonna actually wait a second. We're not gonna shoot him straight away. If we do it right, I'll actually uh, skip a few enemies. I forget which one's next. Been a while. It would, it, it, it would just rusty. speed up the spawn time of them. Oh, is that what it? If you do that, it does yeah. If you if you would shoot the one in the middle instantly, the next enemies would only spawn left and right. But if you wait a bit, they will spawn left, middle, and right, and that allows you to kill them faster. It saves like seven seconds or so. Uh, yeah. Also, Vesper after this. Uh, Infection is done and we skip the cutscene, we're on to Dan, so if you want to do the break then... Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect time. Yeah. Just let us know. So when it comes to this, is it an order that needs to be done or is it do they, do they all spawn? I guess is there a pattern to the spawning or is it they just all kind of come together? There is a pattern, yeah. It is consistent. But right here we actually delay killing these ones because this part's on a timer. And while enemies are alive, it won't end. So we wait long enough to basically make it so that when we kill them, it's not going to spawn more. That makes sense. And then hopefully if we do it right as well, Henry will kill the last one for us. So we shoot him, shoot him, and then Henry should kill this guy. And there we go. Nice, that was good. Now just the Molotov guy. <laughs> yeah, I've never missed a shot. Maybe this will be the perfect time to do it. <laughs> never missed. Maybe you shouldn't have said that before. You're right, you're right yeah. <laughs> nice, nah, I got him. It's fine. Nice. I know on, at the, on the... So this enemy here loves lock on aim, and it just likes to try and like Shit. magnetize onto him even though he's dead. You can just see it spazzing out. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even move. I'm actually holding my right stick up right, and it's not. It's not okay. There it goes. It wasn't even moving. <laughs> Look at this. I know it said. Um, now we're gonna save. Henry. I know it said run on the truck, just like it does in the show. Uh, but just hmm. when I looked at it for one second, I thought it had an M, so I thought it said rum. Ooh. Rum. <laughs> so in the game, this is where Sam. Uh, Sam. Are you okay? Gets pitan, and then he's gonna turn. But we're gonna skip all that. It's fine. Don't worry about. It. They, they both survive and they live happily ever yeah. after. Right after I skip this cutscene, that this is all fine, Dandy. Don't worry about it. True. Nothing. Nothing bad happens to any in, to like anyone in this no. game. Nothing bad happens at all in this game. It's all fun and games. Oh, so you don't have to shoot the infected here. You can just. If this is usually where yeah, in the run we take a pee break. I can never do that if I do it here. I never make it back in time. <laughs> I have. It's, it's only down, like 40 lie. seconds. <laughs> so if we wait a certain time here and shoot at a specific point, so about now. No, I missed. I didn't do it. I shot too early. Anyway, if you shoot at a certain point, it'll just instantly end the fight. You don't have to wait. It saves a couple seconds. So I'm going to skip this cutscene and now we're in Tom's dam. There we go. So I'm going to pause now if you want to take a break. Pause the game. Yep. All right. Well, thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and take a small break right now while we get everything set up for... Um, it's a good opportunity to get up, stretch, use the restroom, everything else along those lines. Lost my train of thought halfway through. It happens. Uh, but do not forget that, you know, after this break, we're going to finish The Last of Us, but also uh, tune in after, after the bargain bin for the premiere of... Tiny Tree Fort, a temporary show that will be running for six shows uh, while she is speed is on break. Frozen Flygon and Corva May will be uh, featuring speedruns from the Frame Fatales community uh, of games that have been game of the month over the last few years. Cannot wait to see that coming up after the bargain bin. But right now, like I said, a small break, get up, stretch, get some water, hydrate, and we'll be right back.
And welcome back to the bargain bin here on Games Done Quick. Before we continue more into The Last of Us, just a couple quick announcements. Uh, Summer Games Done Quick 2023 is coming up May 28th to June 4th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. All site volunteer submissions are open until March 22nd. You can head on over to gamesdonequick.com for more information. And of course, GDQ is actually returning to PAX East 2023 in just a couple of weeks, March 23rd to the 26th. Be sure to check out the speedrun stage if you're interested in watching some speedruns or play through the gauntlet. And once again, before we continue, The Last of Us, uh, we are aware this is coming out the day after the, the season finale of The Last of Us HBO show. So we will be talking about that. We won't be doing a whole lot of spoilers, though, so it should be fine. Uh, and if you've not been caught up on the last episode of The Last of Us on HBO, don't worry. We're not even going to talk about that at all. Uh, Matt, Matt, whenever you are ready to continue, just give us a three, two, one and go ahead and go. Okay, so three, two, one. Go. Let's go. <laughs> so we just finished off uh, Suburbs. Um, sadly, Henry and Sam are now dead. And now, I think it warped us forward a, a month or two, or a couple of months. I don't actually know. It's a long time. I, I don't actually know how long it is, but... Now we're, we're in Jackson, um, trying to find Tommy. Um, and then we're going to do some more fun stuff. So right at the end of that sniper section, the game actually kindly gives us three rifle bullets, which is very handy. Very, very welcomed ammo pickup. Yeah, and we are also in episode six right now, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. We're going to wipe the switch here to, to walk up these slopes a bit faster. Because we get to keep our jogging speed up them so we don't actually slow down. I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. It really enjoyed the hand motions. <laughs> yeah. It does look pretty funky. If you if you press crouch at the same uh, at the perfect moment, you can actually crouch while doing that, and then you can have sprint speed while being in crouch state. And that looks really funny. Wait, can you actually do that with like combat sprint speed? Yes. Oh, you can. I've never seen that before. I need to see that. <laughs> Have you got a video? Can you send me, please? I've never seen yeah. that. Yeah, it looks really Cause, funny. Because actual combat sprint speeds, if you didn't know if you're in combat or alert or whatever, you actually get like a faster sprint. Um, also, if you're wondering, why can't you go out of bounds here and skip stuff? Um, so I know we've skipped a lot so far, but the checkpoint triggers and everything that loads in and the way it works is very, very, very picky in this game. And, there's literally, we've tested with debug mode and flying around and there is literally not a single checkpoint that you can hit to skip anything in these areas. Yeah, they really they don't appear, they don't load, which sucks, but we literally can go right from here to the final area of this chapter and there's, you just can't hit anything, there's nothing there. No checkpoints. So I do have to comment that a lot of times when you've been underwater, you've been having pallets. Like yep. every time yeah, you just grab a pallet and you, and uh, you like help Ellie or move it or move it around. So is it safe to say that when you're in water, your best friend or pal, you could say, is a pallet? Oh, <laughs> uh, is that the first pun? I don't actually. I think that, that is. is. The I, I I forgot to mention earlier that I do have a copy of No Pun Intended Volume Two, just online. I haven't been <laughs> using it, but I thought that was the perfect opportunity to at least say, hey, puns. Nice. You gotta get one in at some point. <laughs> so if you didn't realize, this chapter is kind of a bit of a just a slug. Um, there's a lot of waiting around and slow walking in this. In, oh, in actually, first triangle in this in this part. So now we've met Tommy. Here's Tommy. That's Tommy right there. He's a cool guy. And Maria. And how convenient we just bump into him in the middle of the apocalypse. Don't worry about it. It's for the story. We had it working before. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Maria. And there's some horses. But we're, we're, uh, we're not going to horse around. We're just going to make a Molotov come and stand over here. See, I, I do the puns too. I can do it. I'm going to wait here. 
I'm just going to stand. Um, so for the longest time, Maria comes over here and she's meant to open this door. And for the longest time, sometimes she'd either open it instantly or she'd stand there for like you know, 10 for seconds and it was really annoying. Um, I don't know who figured it out, but if you just stand here and when she gets there. to the door, if you just run up into her, hey, she'll uh, no move straight away. All right, let's also, chat, um, apparently you left Ellie hanging for a high five. Oh, yeah. I was, I'm, my bad. I was actually going to high five her, but I, I went into speed mode and I just completely <laughs> forgot. Yeah, it's a bit tricky on any person since you are doing the weapon switch trick. Yeah, so you meant to walk really slow over that, but we, we weapon switch to, to go over it really quickly. As soon as she stops and run forward. And then she'll turn and go right to the door. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? I'd rather eat with Ellie. Yeah, this chapter starts off a bit slow. I'll come with you. Which, in the run, is a nice change of pace since the previous chapters were like super intense for the speedrunner. I always really enjoy the. Like a nice little bit of downtime where you can just like yeah. take a breather and relax for a bit. Could believe it or not, but having a good run in this game is very intense yep. because this game anything can go wrong at any point. Your run can die within a matter of seconds, and it's just not a good time. Especially in any percent. In glitchless, is not as bad because glitchless is just doing the encounters. But in any percent, you know, you fail one skip and the run's just uh, it's done. Any of them, literally any of them. If you fail any of them, it's just over. So yeah. You sure? I mean, I've said I'm good. The only one that's not that bad to fail is the sewer one. All the rest, you lose so much time if you fail them. And if you fail those traps, if you can't even retry it, so. Privately. Yes, you just gave us a picture of Sarah, the girl that is definitely alive from the start. I thought she's definitely still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Still kicking. He's in school to study to, to study poetry. Most notably yeah. to, you know, most notably to study backwards poetry, because uh, a backwards poet writes in verse. I don't know what you heard, but you should oh, see I messed it, it up. So if you, if you um, go through that door at a certain point, you can actually trigger Tommy to start walking instantly, but I messed it up. I went too slow and he turned around and stood there and talked to me. And again, we crouch here because it's a bit faster, but technically you don't really need to do it here because we have to wait for Tommy anyway. To unlock a door for us. Oh, it's a fun fact. Right? This dog right here is named after Troy Baker's dog. Or maybe you don't have to be. I'll pet the dog. I, I missed the high five, so I'll, I'll pet, pet the dog. Time well. loss. There we go. Dude, high five loses like. I'm just petting him with my shorty. <laughs> oh, okay. What? I just got warped out of the animation. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That looks so weird. What was that? <laughs> New skip. We're gonna get some more goodies. <laughs> the dog understands your speed running. A new skip. Yeah, he's just like, he knew, he knew when it didn't be gone really quick, so. so. We're gonna come down here. They hit a trigger, so there's some dialogue starts and we'll come back up. I'm gonna pick up one of the best weapons in the game. Which is just like a, it's just a, it's just like a pistol version of the rifle, but. It's like having two rifles, it's very good. That's happy you pet the dog. I'm gonna grab some goodies. Yeah, we have time to pick up all of that. And I'm gonna... That's because we're waiting for Tommy to finish his dialogue yeah. and get to the door. There is a little skip we can do here where we can skip some dialogue. I'm not that great at it, uh, but I'll give it a try. So we're gonna wait till Tommy says a certain line and I'm just gonna kind of go backwards and hopefully it'll skip some dialogue. You see that? Pretty impressive. Looks like you're out. No, it didn't noise. work. <laughs> you, what exactly causes that? Mm. Or is it know. just like one of those? It's just like a finicky thing. I don't know what exactly causes that, but I think you needed to stand closer to him. Shit. Oh really? Stop him. Don't let him it's, it's like we're so gonna minor. do some some pistol sniping. 
In this fight, you want to quick scope and get to the. What? I've never seen all those enemies do that. I mean, if, if you heard him, he just went, oh, because if you hit that trigger there, they just all die on their own. <laughs> I'm going to throw a Molotov here to kill all these enemies before they can even get through the door. Kind of spawn trap them here. As soon as they spawn in, you throw a Molotov. There's a really cool strat here. So there's going to be a guy we need to kill, but if we just throw a brick at him and just run past him, um, Tommy will kill him. Or some other guy will kill him. I don't actually know. So just throw a brick at this guy. Ignore him completely. Quick scope these three. Quite done. You grab some stuff. I'm gonna reload. And as soon as this comes up, we're gonna do a checkpoint restart again to give another in-game cutscene, and then we've finally got the horse. Which it, it, uh, it controls, it, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's not the worst. You just have to press the sprint button every few seconds to maintain yeah. the maximum speed. We can actually use the horse to get out of bounds as well. If you can get yourself into a tight gap and like turn him a certain way, he'll just like pop through walls. But <laughs> again, there's no use for it. We, there's pretty much a way to get out of bounds in every level. Yeah, pretty much. Most of them. There's just no way to do skips because there's no checkpoints that are active. That's the problem with this game. It'd be a lot more broken if uh, if the stuff was there to hit, but it's not. So, in this next fight, do you want to explain the Molotov trick? Oh yeah. So the next fight has it usually has a bunch of enemies in the fight, but if you kill the first set of enemies really fast, uh, the last few enemies won't spawn in. And that's what Matt is trying to do now. Yeah. Just gonna was gonna do some more pistol sniping. Yeah. So we get the horse back, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So now he's throwing Molotov on the armored enemy. That was the last enemy there, and and it worked. Usually, like. If you no, oh. if Matt would would have gone oh, a little bit slower there, there would be like I don't even know two two more enemies I think. It's quite a lot. Like that saves an enormous amount of yeah, time that is over a big the way we used to do that fight. Yeah. Like if if I if I don't get that, I would probably prefer restarting the checkpoint instead of going for the last two enemies or the the last enemies that spawn in. Yeah, also you're going to see the game's great loading right here, just watch this, we're just going to see straight out of bounds. That's out of bounds. <laughs> oh, now it's loaded. You're just too fast. Game can't keep up. <laughs> I'm going to do another checkpoint restart to warp us down a bit further. Now, I was trying to think of a good horse pun for this particular section, but I couldn't think of any, so I guess that means that's a nay on the horse puns. Uh -huh. I, knew, I knew you were going to say that as soon as you started saying that, honestly. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a nay. I set it up, and then you said yes, and I went, oh, crap, i got to rearrange this. <laughs> we're going to make some, some good use of the Molotovs again right here. I'm just going to burn everyone. And all dead. Wait a couple seconds, restart. That skips another in-game cutscene. And now we're in university. Which is another section that in this show was completely virtually skipped over. It is there, but... It's not as fleshed out as it is here. Interesting how they fleshed out a lot of stuff that was almost outside of the game. When you really think about it, like yeah. they, did, they took a lot of stuff in the game and then they fleshed it out. So it's essentially almost... You can play both and still kind of get the same story, but not. Yeah. They also put the DLC in the show. They did, yes. How many people do you think are there? 
fireflies. I mean. <laughs> yeah, we, we're not playing the DLC today, though. The DLC does add some, you know, stuff to the, to the story. Um, I'm not sure. But I'm not doing that. You don't need to, you don't need to see that behind. It's poop poop anyway. It's fine. <laughs> and if I did a speed of it, it'd be done in like five minutes. So I'll be right back. Be quick. Now we're gonna use our last Molotov of the game. I guess since we're in the school, and all these I enemies. guess since we're in the school, I can ask a quick question. Uh, what did the mermaid wear to her math class? I don't. An know. algebra. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. I'm hoping that one of these drops shotgun ammo actually. Did I just realize I might need it? No, oh no. I need it for the clicker, don't I? In the. Hey, I was thinking. I actually do need shotgun ammo. I thought I wanted to be an astronaut. And I thought I didn't. Oh, I do actually. Can you imagine being up there all I'll have to swap it out. Good chat. What about you? I'll just swap it for the revolver because the revolver's poo anyway. Well, when I was a kid, I used to want to be. Uh... At this point, it's not the greatest weapon yeah, anymore. Especially not on clickers. So, so serious. Uh, no. on, yeah, cl on clickers, a revolver is a four <laughs> shot. Yeah, on top of that, it doesn't even help if you get headshots on them. Yeah. So literally, you might not notice it, it might not be apparent but like we're picking stuff up in like previous chapters to use way later so at the end of in, in Tommy's Dam before I even started riding the horse I picked up a bottle and that bottle is going to come into play right at the end of this chapter and that bottle is also very important yep. I'm going to swap this out because I need this shorty I won't usually do this I would I'd never use the shorty after after the that sewer fight but it is very important Damn it. so this is another bird section that we're technically not going to do properly. We're going to cheese it. <laughs> we're going to kill this guy, which is what I need the shotgun for. We're going to throw a smoke bomb, and that's just going to they're going to be like, "Whoa, what was that? I'm so confused." And I'm just going to stand there. Get out of here. And that's the first use of the smoke bomb, I think. Fine. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, and that was. Go ahead. No, I was. Uh, I wanted to say this is the last time where we see Joel with a gas mask, but I don't know if that's true actually. I think it is. I don't remember any point after this where you do. Hey, what in there? Infected. I'm fine. I shouldn't have pulled a gun out here. You you don't want to pull out guns if you don't need to because if you don't like put them away fast enough or in a certain way, you, you actually have to put them away himself when he goes to grab certain things. It's gonna be really slow. Yeah, one thing I do prefer about the remake is these generators. They're a lot faster and easier to turn on. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I do not like the remake. I'm very strongly opinionated on the fact that it's not a good game. It's very buggy. And it's just not fun to play, in my opinion. It looks nice, though. I'll give it that. So, we're nearly into the actual, like, proper science lab now. Yeah, you could see that. We're still on the search for the fireflies. But coming up after this chapter is the best one in the game, the most technical, in my opinion, and the most fun to actually do. So I'm hoping that I can do it well, because if you do the next chapter well, it, it, it does look very impressive, in my opinion. Yeah, it definitely has. Quite enjoyable. It has really nice strats. And there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about the PS5. So I'm playing the PS4 version right now, which we call the, re the remaster. So 
This is the remaster. The remake is the PS5 version. Um, and no one speedruns the original on PS3 because that sounds like a terrible experience. I don't know why you would do that to yourself. <laughs> um, so yeah, we don't do that. I've tried a couple times. It's not. It's not fun. So where people were running the PS3, I assume people were running the PS3 back in the day, and then when the PS4 came out, everyone just migrated there for obvious reasons. As far as I'm aware, um, from from back in the day, this was like not long before I came around, but. Let's look around. I think only one person ran it on PS3, and that was Holy Diver J. He was the the OG Last of Us runner. He was the first ever one to pretty much do it, and everyone knew him for doing it. And he ran on PS3. And as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure at the time he was the only one that did. Yeah. Um, the thing is, back then the community for this game was like non-existent. There was nothing there. There was no one. Um, and then even when it did start to take off, it was pretty much just me, Uranto, and Ant, and rude and that was it no one else played the game no one else was running it and then all of a sudden it just took off at one point and there's like was it like 50 60 runners on one like category or something like that Find out where they went. it's yeah, quite popular yeah. surprisingly yeah and the remaster came out like a year after the original game so most people started with the remaster actually uh, uh keep yeah that's not true technically the PS3 version, if you like load the game, actually loads faster than the PS4. So, um, if you like certain, do like certain checkpoint restarts, um, it's hard, I don't actually remember where it is, or like starting a new game, sometimes it loads faster Yeah. than PS4. PS4 overall, when you're doing a run, loads faster. Yeah, and the load right, times. So I'm going to do um, that, I'm going to try and concentrate on this one because I want to mess it up. I don't have a lot of shotgun ammo. Actually, I don't have any. Uh -oh. Then bottle this guy. <gasps> what? Oh. Why? Came out of. Why did he? Came okay. out of nowhere. I've never. I have never seen that guy go that way before. He's usually meant to come towards me like that. I don't know why he was there. And that didn't work. I was meant to shoot that uh, fire extinguisher because you can actually shoot that and it like spreads out smoke. I'm gonna have to use rifle ammo here, which I normally wouldn't do. Ah, uh, well, that'll do. So there is a glitch that can happen here where we can soft block. Okay, it didn't good. So basically, what would happen is if it happened, the camera would zoom out. And then it wouldn't progress to the next scene. And then um, it would reload you and you'd have to just open the door again. In a run, it's really annoying because it loses a decent amount of time and there's no way to really avoid it. It's just kind of, it happens or it doesn't. Also, yeah, Joel's been Joel's been impaled, very sad. He just got a rebar through his stomach, no big deal. What? <laughs> Oh, actually, I said there was no skips left. That's a lie. There's another one in a second that's really cool, actually. Mm -hmm. Only it's not like an out of bounds thing, though. It's a little small little trick we can do, but it looks really funky. It looks really cool. I wish there were more places where we can do that. Maybe there is, we just haven't found them. They might be like really specific. Yeah, so you're moving up really slow here now. I mean, because you did just get impaled. Joel? That makes sense. <laughs> you know, you, you, you fall you fall off a building and run into something spiky. Probably not going to have the same amount of energy. Nah. Also bleeding to death as well. This is one of the things I feel like the show did. Maybe a bit more realistically, because there's no way in an apocalypse you would survive this. But in the show, he just got a little stabby stab with a knife, it's fine. So, I'm just going to mash aim here, because it looks really funny. It, it, it does look wrong, don't worry about it. <laughs> He's having a good time. Oh, no, I shot him too early. Yeah, if you shoot him too early, it won't actually kill him. So I just shot him in the face and it just did nothing to him. Yeah, it's funny that you did that, actually. 
I actually thought that waited long enough, to be honest. I appreciate the Kool-Aid on the back of that, um... All the Kool-Aid that's growing. Oh, yeah. Totally Kool-Aid. Oh, she, <laughs> she just kicked him along the floor. No one here. I don't think I've ever seen that either. That's, that's brilliant. She just like, move, buddy. I've got places to be, people to see. <laughs> All right. This, this. So this trick's coming up in a minute. So um, if you want to explain the Uento, what we do. Well, can you walk? Yes. Or what it does. Then fucking walk. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, Mad Mad is going to switch to 30 fps and that makes joel and ellie teleport forward and that would that saves like 15 seconds i 20, think 50 yeah we we have no idea why it works but it just does yeah there was also uh it's not that old that trick yeah it's, it's relatively new a couple of years maybe not super old um, don't forget to switch though to 30 yeah. fps as soon as Eddie gets hit here, as soon as he kills this guy, I'm just going to switch. But as soon as you switch, we're going to make sure you don't touch anything on the controller. Yeah. And then as soon as we regain control, we should walk forward to the door. So if you blink, you might miss it. Literally, if you blink in between him standing up, you might just completely miss it. And... And... Oh, there we are. No, no, oh, we're going to switch back to 60. <laughs> wait, wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. Joel is actually the Flash, if you didn't know. Oh. Okay, so right now, <clears throat> there's a trick at the start of winter. I'm going to let you run to explain it because I need to turn my volume up extremely loud so I can hear a certain audio cue. So I probably won't be able to hear you guys. So if, if you want to explain yeah. the deer, Yuanto, I'm just going to turn my game up super yeah, loud. Okay. So there is an audio cue in the next area for when the deer is going to spawn in. So our mission in the next uh, level is to hit the deer twice with an arrow. So Matt turned up the volume so he can hear the snap of a branch to know when the deer is gonna spawn in. And then he's gonna fire Actually um, can you can you wait a second so I can just do it because I can still oh, hear yeah. you and it might let me just do it quickly. There he is. Oh, I missed. I never actually missed that. That's devastating. So we're basically just trying to hit the deer early as we can. It's actually really easy. I don't know why that missed. Nah, it's not easy. <laughs> it's, it's free, dude. There he is. What? Why is it missing? I'm very confused because I've never I never failed this anymore. Where'd you go? I know why I was missing because I was shooting nice. on the. Okay, never mind. Yes, that that is Are one you? of the most specific shots in the run, I would say. Yeah. Um, the the reason why it wasn't working is because what you do, I have to turn my game up really super loud because I'm listening for the deer's footsteps. So, as soon as the branch snaps, I wait until I hear two, da dum da dum, and on the second one I shoot. For some reason, there. On the two that missed, I was shooting when it only did one footstep, and I don't know why. That's why it was missing. It was my own fault. I'm a silly buddy. It's definitely... Yeah, so that skips pretty much the entire idea. Yeah, and for me, that's always one of the hardest parts in the run, because this comes like, I don't know, two hours, 15 minutes into the run, and when you're on PB pace, you might be nervous. And the thing is, if you miss the deer, it's going to waste like 18 seconds. So if you're going for a world record run in this game, if you miss the deer, the run is over most of the time. Yeah. Wow. It's 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 unfortunate. This this game is very optimized. Yeah. I'm not doing it well because I'm very rusty. Like I have I've only done like one run in like the last nine I months. Did. That shot I'm is not, really I'm not on it. Man, th third try is not bad. Right, so now this is where it gets it's gonna get good. Really, uh, these are like my favorite two fights in the game. This one and the next one. And this fight is a lot more impressive when you do it without lock on aim, but it's still as impressive even with it. I actually prefer to do this fight without it, to be honest, but it would lose time turning it off. So I kill those enemies a certain way so I can get this ammo drop. You're a 
better shot with that thing than I am. Yeah, and Matt also got rid of... I'm gonna do specific killing to get a lot of ammo conservation as well. Yeah, and Matt got rid of one shot. Because we needed a lot. Uh, so he has zero after killing the last enemy, because that makes David give you six. And with a drop of three that the last enemy drops, that would give Matt the maximum amount of ammo for the rifle that he can use now. And I'm coming through the windows. David, please move. <laughs> there was a plus sign. <laughs> yeah. And that was on, on easy mode, David gives you six rifle bullets twice if you ran out of ammo. Yeah. Now we just wait. Where is David? And just, oh. I don't actually know. Do you have to look at him to make him go there? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I thought you didn't. Maybe you do. <clears throat> you have to shoot this clicker here. And we don't really need the bow, so we just kind of just look that. So we're going to do a weapon switch in here to allow us to get past David. You can get past him with like a, a melee combo. But it's just a lot more consistent to do the weapon switching. Because you get slowed down and you can't actually run. Yeah, this is. Um, this looks. So you have to stay behind him. This looks like a small thing, but that's actually a. A lot of time. Yeah, so. yeah. It, it saves like I don't know, man. Ten seconds. Also, there wasn't David, and then there was David. He just warped in. Because <laughs> he's meant to be ahead of you. You're not meant to be able to be ahead of him. I'm going to try and do a crouch uh, weapon switch where we can crouch during the animation so it shrinks like hitbox but we're still moving fast. So I'm going to do it to get under this. Okay, it just, okay. It just stopped working for some reason. Because when, when you do those ones where you want to crouch and stuff, you actually have to like, in certain... Whoa! What was that? I just got launched. Um, you have to like, uh, um, let go of the left stick when you're doing it and you'll keep the animation so you'll keep moving and I tried to do it there but I must have let go too soon so we're going to shoot there to avoid a potential bug that can happen here where so there's a bunch of clickers on the other side of this wall you might be able to hear them and sometimes they can get pushed and one of them can clip through into this side and that can be very annoying for this next part because you can actually I think one's actually come through. I'm pretty sure I just heard it. So I'm going to safety shoot this clicker. Usually if he's in that room, you can just ignore it and just and just come to the ladder. And you should be fine. But I'm not risking it. Because knowing me, it'll catch up and kill me. <laughs> and now we've got my favourite fight in the run. If you want to explain the dialogue thing as well, while well, I'm just quickly doing that. We you skip the dialogue. And the, and the way I'd like it adds the timer to the items you pick up and stuff like that while oh, yeah. I do this. So the game wants you to press tri triangle to trigger an optional dialogue here. Uh, what you see now, Matt will press it right now. That was, uh, Matt pressed it like a second later and by that he pretty much skipped an entire dialogue and that triggers the fight way earlier. Like, that saves a lot of time. Uh, so yeah, by delaying that triangle prompt, he pretty much can start the fight earlier now, since the enemies will spawn and quicker. And every item you pick up in that meantime delays the spawn, so he only picks up the stuff that he needs. Yeah. I'm just gonna concentrate on doing this fight. Okay, while you do that, um, I will let everyone know that after the bargain bin at 10 p.m. Eastern, we're gonna have a premiere of Tiny Tree Fort. This is a temporary show that will be running for six shows while she is speed is on break. Frozen and Corby will be 
featuring speedruns from the Frame Fatales community of games that have been Game of the Month over the last few years. And of course, don't forget your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Games Done Quick Hotfix. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the daily speedrunning content. And if you want to follow what GDQ is up to, use exclamation mark links in chat for all things GDQ. No! Oh, no, 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 quick. Oh, I still got him. Jeez. Nice. For some reason, it picked up the wrong item. I was going to pick up the hammer. Yeah, so right there, we just shot a bloater in the foot and killed it with one shot. Pretty good. And it only... And he's on the, he's on, he, he spawns on a timer, so you have to be quick to get there to shoot him. That was lucky. And it only works for this... That was a really good fight. ...specific bloater. You cannot one-hit kill any other bloater in the game. And it's probably because Ellie's rifle is stronger than Joel's. Yeah. So if you hit the bloater in the leg where he got no armor, you can actually kill it in one hit. Which is super fast. Yeah, so I'm glad those those two fights went, went perfectly. Yeah, the... They're the ones I really care about in the game, to be honest. really good. Well, I, I, it would have gone better if it was Juranto doing him because he's a god gamer, but... I didn't mess it up, so that's all that counts. No, I'm missing the deer every time. <laughs> I missed it three times. <laughs> or two times, I can't remember. It's funny because I haven't missed the deer in a run in such a long time. It was just because I apparently just completely forgot how to do it. Oh, he actually still grabbed me, nice. So you, if you turn your camera around there... Um, and don't hold the left stick. Um, you can actually avoid that guy from grabbing you, but he still grabbed me anyway. So right here, we want to try and avoid taking as much damage as possible. Um, because we're going to take a bunch of damage, probably, in the next part. Um, and this next part can actually go very wrong. Because I need to throw a Molotov. And I need this Molotov to kill two specific enemies. If it doesn't, which it, it, it can be really weird because we don't, it's not an upgraded Molotov, so its radius is crap. And sometimes it'll only kill one if you don't throw it properly. And if that happens, you're going to get alerted early. And if that happens, it means you're just going to start getting shot at early. And you can take a lot of damage. You can still get through, but it just makes it a hell of a lot more risky if you do end up actually missing it. So I'm going to hope that it works. Yeah, but also, this is... Uh, it matters running any person new game plus, but for Ellie's section, it actually doesn't matter whether you're playing new game or new game plus. It's the same. You don't yeah. have the upgrades. Which is why the Molotov radius... Line the Molotov up and throw it. Hopefully we get two. We did. Good, good. That's nice. That's, that's a really specific throw. It's very easy to... Yeah, it's, it's very random if it doesn't work. I like how I locked on through the wall. <laughs> we just kill these two. And then we're going to do another weapon switch glitch to get across. Here. You usually have to shoot me across that. That's really nice, man. And I'm going to do a couple more here as well to, to allow us to sprint technically through these pipes as well. But these can be kind of awkward to, uh, to do. Probably the hardest ones. No. I'll try it again. That's nice. <laughs> it's it's that just really great. I'm really hurt. Doing weapon switching is very painful. That's just, on your fingers. That's just perfect animation. Yeah, so actually when, when he's in that state of the weapon switch, you don't actually need to hold uh, the L3 stick to move forward anymore. Like She will run uh, by her own. Oh. So, My hands are too cold, so I can't actually do it properly. <laughs> but he, so he's like, he's like sprinting, but when he presses circle, so the crouch button, the game will think he's cr uh, crouched. So, so yeah. that, that way he can sprint through the pipes. And that first weapon switch alone just saved like seven seconds. I don't want to get trapped in here. Just want to do some more quick scoping. Now this last enemy is random, so I've got to hope I can see him. He's there, good boy. 
Yeah, here in that fight you really save some time with the auto lock on. Yeah. You save a lot of time with it pretty much everywhere, to be honest. I mean, we say that that fight I did in the in the coal mine is... It's kind of on a timer-ish. So you don't have to kill all the enemies super quick. Now we're back as Joel. Joel's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he just recovered from getting impaled in like a couple in like a day or two. It's it happened. Right. I mean, it happens. It's it's that quick heal. Yeah, it's the, it just used the med kit. It just wrapped a bandage around his arm and it helped his stomach. It's fine. It's like in Resident <laughs> Evil. You just pour a drink on it and then you know within a couple of minutes you're fine. Or Joel possibly could have used the. Or your hand just attaches itself yeah. back together by just. It's yeah. also possible Joel could have used the Konami code. Also, these are sound glitches if you didn't, if you want to wear. Um, you want to explain sound glitches actually why I do this? Because we haven't actually talked about them. Yeah, so the sound glitches pretty much happen in every single run, in every category, on every platform. It really doesn't matter. They, they appear a lot. And they are kind of random. Like sometimes you get sound glitches in places where you've never seen them before, but in some places you get them every time. And some yeah. glitches have different effects. So, okay, obviously first they uh, they make that weird sounds, but they can actually delay load times in this game. Like um, when enemies spawn or when the area loads in, that all can be delayed by a sound glitch. So there are actually some places where you really don't want to get a sound glitch because you would lose time there. Uh, yeah, but most most of the time, like like here, like the sound clip from 10 seconds ago, that was just a side effect that doesn't really matter in the speedrun. Yeah. So this is the area now where playing on PS4 over playing on PS5 is going to come into play. And you're going to see why it is slightly faster. I like and David's still trying to shoot us and Ellie's still making noises as if she's getting shot at, but he's like nowhere near. And this is the part where we have no weapons. We don't have our backpack right now, so only thing we can do is speed run through it. I have, I have to, I have to fully admit it's nice to see a, um, a, a mail truck in this area. So it's nice to know that even in the apocalypse, we still get mail. <laughs> oh no. You want to avoid taking as much damage as you can here because you're bound to get shot a lot in this final part and well with the way i do it anyway and it's fine uh dying here is not a good time it really isn't true oh no dying here is like the worst because it completely messes up the strats and you can't actually just run through anymore i don't think oh so what you saw Matt Matt doing there was he crouched after getting hit and that's to avoid an extra stagger. Like if you get staggered by a shot and you would just like hold sprint forward, you go, you would get shot until you're dead. But so here's the oh yeah. glitch we were talking about. So we press the prompt. As soon as we can move again, um, it actually skips the cutscene with David. So we just restart. Um, and the reason why it's faster on PS4 is because it loads. When you checkpoint restart, it loads in a lot quicker. On, on any other console, it... Well, on the old patch, specifically on PS4, it would take a while. And on PS5, that trick doesn't even work. So, yeah, that's why we play on this uh, this version. What? Yeah. And we're just going to stab David a couple times. Without getting into spoilers, I really appreciate what they did here in the HBO show. I couldn't hear you then. It was really loud. What oh, did you say? <laughs> I was saying I, I really appreciate how HBO did this scene. Oh yeah, it's, it's actually really good. It's one of the things I liked about the show. Yeah. Like, it was great. There's some things in the show that... I don't know, I, I feel like... I, I think I mentioned this to you, Anto, and I think I've spoke about it a lot as well, but I think that... Um, just the general feeling of the connection between Ellie and Joel is... It's completely different. You don't really get the feeling that you get from playing the game, in my personal opinion. You grow that connection personally when you play the game over the course of a game. But uh, this is also really bad because I don't have <laughs> any any ammo, so I just had to YOLO that. This is I think this is one of the runs I've had the least amount of ammo in ever. 
I'm gonna try and do another weapon switch here as well. I messed it up. You meant to slow walk in here, and it's very slow. I, I probably should. You can also do a different strat where you just swing your pipe. I should have just done that. It's a bit easier. Really? Is it safe to say that you not having that much ammo or playing the game with the least amount of ammo oh, seems criminal for you? Are you gonna make another pun? Possibly. Uh, sure. Okay. So you know what a criminal's best asset is? Their oh. liability. These that's is really bad. <laughs> that's straight from that, that that is straight from the game. Or actually that's from the DLC. Oh, that's actually Didn't from the DLC. <laughs> No, we're gonna we're gonna do some stabby on David. I knew you had heart. And then we're getting towards the end of the game. Two more chapters left. Okay well, te technically three if you count Jackson's its own chapter. Though. It's like it's like a minute and a half, so I don't count it as one. Um, so here we got the. Wait, what's the actual what's the actual entire chapter called? For the tunnel and not highway. It's just. Uh, what's? Fuck you. What? I don't actually remember what it's called. It's called Highway. Is it just called Highway? I mean, the beginning. There's, there's, That's there's basic. Highway and Tanu, and it's Busty Po, I think. Anyway, <coughs> um, I think we're in Spring now. Is what it says in the corner. Yes, I have played this game before. And, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, the main, the main ally there. Um, how do I, how do I put the, how do I put this lightly? They get they they get imprisoned for their for their for their crimes. Ellie, did you hear me? No. Nothing else happens. Why? Nothing bad happens to, Look, to the uh, venue. Nothing I'm else sorry. along those lines happens. Person just gets imprisoned. Yeah. Let's go. So this is where right here is where the the final episode would start. So we won't be talking about the show anymore. But still got some some goodies to do. Some fun stuff. Although I've got no ammo, so I'm actually very scared. I'm trying to think. Do, what you say? Can you think of any ammo pickups that I can take? Uh, wait, what? What do you need? For, like, which weapon? Anything. Maybe just like a couple of shotgun rounds. To be fair, just in case the hospital goes sideways. Because mm. if I get if I get shot at the door with the, the uh, where the fire extinguisher goes off, I'm not gonna have a good time because I won't be able to defend myself. I mean, I could just pop him with the revolver; it's fine. <laughs> you can pick up arrows. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh no! I forget we get arrows, don't we? That's, that's so good. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't we don't we don't actually use the boat at all until now. When we we picked it up in Belltown, we then swapped it out. For the rifle, could use that and then we don't equip it again till now. And we literally only yeah. use it um, for a glitch coming up soon, involving glitching out a clicker, and then um, in the final level to kill one enemy by shooting him in the leg. That's it. The first, the most important thing, you go for sync launch. Right. Oh yes, yeah, sync launch. Yes, that's coming up. Remember, <laughs> I alluded to that at the start. The sync launch. Here we go. This is it. The enti this entire speedrun has been building up to this moment, this sync launch, right here, let's go. It's gonna be so good. Right, anyway, let me give me a bow. Um, so we're gonna put the bow, we're gonna crack the smoke bomb. And now, Maybe see, I would say that we've got nothing sure. left. Technically, we have no goodies left, which is what would usually happen every time. Um, usually, I'd still have ammo, at least, <laughs> but... <laughs> All the resources that we craft, like all the molotovs, all the bombs, smoke bombs, they all get used. You gotta see this. Here we go, sync launch. Are you ready? It's gonna be so good. Here we go. I'm gonna get the perfect one. I'm gonna get the perfect sync launch. Let's go. Oh, baby, that was oh, it. Beautiful. That was it. Damn, yeah, nice. Also, I did. <laughs> you saved. That was actually really good because I actually went straight. Usually, you get launched to the side. That was actually really good. Um, it, it saves one second, by the way. <laughs> it looks. It looks. It looks Hell great. Yeah. I did see the. Um, uh... Oh, do you want to pet the giraffe? You pet the giraffe. Pet the giraffe. Yes. Let's do it. 
I've had the giraffe. I did, it, yes. I'll do that. It is slow, but I'm going to do it do anyway. It. Um, I'm speed running, petting the giraffe by crouching. <laughs> I did see. I did see the uh, water fountain right before you did the zip. So I just um, chat. Remember to hydrate and pet your giraffes. Pet your uh, pet your yes. pet giraffes. So if you have a pet giraffe, pet it. Yeah, Pedro Pascal was doing all the all the sync launches in the, in yes, the show. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I remember that. I remember Pedro. I remember, uh, I remember where he where he clipped through a wall and swam through the yeah. sky. I, I remember in an, in an interview right before uh, Pedro talking about how how it, it, it important it was to get those certain scenes mastered. Wow. Look, I know you mean well. Yeah, obviously it is slower to pet the giraffe. You don't have to do it, but you know, I didn't, I didn't high five Eddie, so I've got, to, I've got to pet the giraffe. Uh, I've also been told that apparently giraffes are very mean. Well, I ain't leaving without you. No. Just go <laughs> don't try to pet them. They'll bite your hand. They're cute. <laughs> right, so we're gonna do the final weapon switch of the game. This is a big one as well. And it's long, the longest one in the entire yeah, run. You would lose sprint speed right here. With how far we have to go. The alternative... Like, if you mess this up, you lose a lot of time if you don't get yeah, it. The alternative is you, you would need to crouch. Like, not even jog or so. You would need to crouch here. Turned upside down. Oh, I, I figured, out, I figured out what that animation is. Joel, what Joel is is just, just has incredibly itchy legs. But when it's happening, he's just constantly trying to get the scratch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah. Yeah, because he's wearing the same clothes. Yeah. That he's makes sense. Time. <laughs> he never changes his trousers. They're always the same. This time it's gonna be he, changes his, he changes his t-shirt loads throughout the game, though. That's one benefit to actually not changing your cosmetic skin throughout the game is you actually get to get the dynamic changes that happens during the story if you don't use the custom one like that you can select. So here we have the tunnel. Final big encounter. I'm going to restart checkpoint. As soon as I load, I'm going to shoot. That gives me spin speed. Did you want to explain the smoke bomb strat while I just run through this? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, in this area there are many enemies. There are three bloaters, multiple clickers, lots of runners. And what Mad Mad wants to do is he wants to run to the very end of the section and then throw a specific uh, smoke bomb to distract or, like, trap the enemies all in one place, right here. And then he's trying to get to the triangle prompt which hopefully shows up. <laughs> there the, well, that was perfect. Yeah, the enemies lose sight of you, so you can go for the triangle prompt. That triangle prompt wouldn't be there. It can sometimes fail, though. It's yeah, it's a bit iffy. And the reason why, why that is... I've lost many runs to this. The reason why that is pretty consistent is uh, Mad Mad climbed up the truck at the very beginning, and that's not because it's faster uh, to run there, but it makes Ellie climb up there as well. And that prevents her from getting grabbed by any infected because she's up there. So yeah. it's kind of AI manipulation and then you can make it through. All right, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna call for your assistance again, you answer, because now we've got one of the more confusing tricks that people don't understand when they watch the game and they're wondering why this clicker is like <laughs> just chilling with you. So if you want to explain this, yeah, it is definitely a weird thing. So there is a clicker here in the, ne in the next room, and usually the game wants you to press triangle and help Ellie over the fence, and then the clicker uh, becomes active and, it and attacks Ellie, and the game wants you to then kill the clicker. And yeah, but we want to go a bit faster, and there is a pretty specific trick. You can shoot the clicker, and then as soon as possible, hit the triangle prompt, and if you do that really quickly, the clicker becomes active, and you can help Ellie over the fence. Nice, you got it. So the clicker is now yeah, active. So a good side effect to this is the clicker is now our friend, and yep. he's not aggressive at he all. He can kill you now, you can run into him, or he, he's not aggressive towards you. I would play around with him a little bit, but... 
I'm not going to because it might mess up the cycle because we still have to do a strat here. Um, if you want to explain the, the full yes, sprint it's not, speed it's not strat. Over yet. Uh, so this is this is the first part of the of that trick, and this allows us to sprint here. Like you normally wouldn't be able to sprint here, and overall, like the entire trick saves like 30 seconds. It's huge. It's very important in the run. Yeah. So now we j just go the normal road to the uh, to the pallet, <laughs> another pallet in the game, and. The we final one. Yeah, true. We, we still have sprint speed here. So all of that is way faster. And... Yeah, this on its own saves a bunch of time. Yep. Yeah, the, the beginning is the most important thing. But we can get another sprint uh, towards the end of the section. And for that, you want to lure, lure this clicker into this room. Uh, I don't know, will you do it with an arrow or with bottle or...? Yeah, I'm gonna do it with the arrow, yeah. Okay, so... We have to wait a bit here for Ellie. Um, because she's gonna drop the ladder down for us. Oh, another bonus of actually doing this is Ellie's in like stealth combat mode here. So she actually sprints to get on this. Which is a lot faster as well. Oh, oh yeah. to point that out. Yeah, so now Ellie, Ellie goes towards the ladder. And in the meantime, we are luring the clicker into this room to... Uh, so we can be able to sprint the next part as well. <clears throat> so I'm gonna, there's a little vent here and I'm going to shoot that. Right as I hear the ladder come down. I'm going to shoot it. And it should come into this room, hopefully. And stay. Yeah, and if you d do this trick, you will actually be soft locked and cannot pick up the ladder uh, when the clicker is not in this room. You either have to... Uh, lower the clicker into this room or kill it otherwise you won't be able to progress so hopefully he's gonna come in sometimes he turns around and goes away hopefully he'll come in so turn around please he's turning good yeah, there should already be enough to not get soft, uh, to not be soft locked yeah it's fine Using. oh i did see the so now he should stay in here and then what was what's gonna happen is as long as he's in this room, when we put this ladder down to cross this gap, we will be able to sprint on the other side. If he's not in this room, we can't sprint when we get to the other side, and it actually loses a decent amount of time. Like, if you have it in a run and you don't get it, it's very annoying. Yeah, that was perfect. Because now we can sprint all the way here, which we usually wouldn't be able to do. Yeah, that went well. Yeah, you, you would move really slow here. I got bonked on Ellie and it stopped me nice. <laughs> I saw someone in chat say... Gonna, um, we're not going to climb on any of this stuff. Oh. I'm just going to swim. <laughs> I saw someone in chat earlier say uh, they were waiting for like the PC version where they can replace uh, Joel to look like Mando from The Mandalorian. Oh my god. Because they're both Pedro. Uh, so it made me it made me, best, it made me ask the question, was the clicker in that scenario, if that's the case, would be Baby Yoda? Possibly. <laughs> possibly. A bit, it's a bit big for Baby Yoda, but possibly. Yeah, you can't swim here in the remake. Even though there is literally a line of dialogue when you jump in that Joel says, hey, don't do that. But in the remake, if you get in that wall, you're just instantly dead. Another reason why the remake's poo. <laughs> also, you don't want to turn your camera to look up at this too fast, because if you do, you will soft lock. And it, it's, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's an old... Stuff lock, um, but it can happen. Oh, so you don't actually need to press triangle there. It's a yeah, scam. no, you just you can just wait. So there's a couple of places where you don't actually need to mash the button. You can just hmm. let it go. Uh, wh how is? I guess since the boat moves and stuff like that, um, what's the toll that you'd have to use for that bus, or is Dole just going to take it and not pay the toll? I think the water's paying the toll for him. He's just taking him along for the <laughs> ride. Um, so now we're on the final chapter. Technically, um, we're, we're going to save Ellie. Hospital. And we're going to do some funky, funky things. So this is, what, this is the one place where we're actually going to use the bow. And we're going to do some specific movement here to not get alerted. So we're going to pick up this brick. 
I'm gonna shoot this guy in the leg and miss. Did he see me actually? Nice. It li I, I literally watched the arrow just like graze <laughs> his knee. Man, that's unlucky. Alright, second second try, it's fine. I'm gonna shoot him in the leg. Yeah, if, if an enemy isn't alerted to you and you shoot them in flesh, they will instantly die with one arrow. If they if they know where you are, it'll take two. Two of the dialogue triggers there, we're gonna throw a brick. And then hopefully I can grab this door before I get shot, please. No. Okay, that's fine. This is the reason why I wanted a shotgun bullet, because sometimes if you get shot there. You, you want to try and actually shoot that guy at the doorway, but it's fine. Now we've got one more section left. Hopefully it goes well. Last fight, even though we're actually not going to fight anyone, we're just going to throw a smoke bomb. So we're going to take a specific line here, so we actually get alerted. We want to get alerted in this part, so when we run past, we should get alerted here. There we go. I'm going to jog here. I'm going to sprint. I'm going to get our smoke bomb ready. I'm gonna crouch, throw the smoke bomb, and then go. And there we go, that's it. That's nice. that's pretty much most of the game done. Now we just gotta do some walking. Yeah, was that was the last fight. Final fight. Let's go. I mean, there was a lot of stuff that went wrong in this run, but overall, it was okay. It wasn't terrible i got all the skips first try so that's what counted yeah for me. that was really nice you even got russian card skip <laughs> what are you, doing? you got all the skips <laughs> oh, so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna shoot this guy don't worry about it he's not important at all still following you around though oh, now we find Ellie. I... we're gonna we're gonna carry her I'm gonna escape. I don't know about the running animation there. It feels weird. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit funky. Also, we missed there was a sink there, but sadly we can't do another sink launch. It's devastating. <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. Mutsky. Number home free. Nice. One more chapter, which is just a little bit of walking um, and some talking. We're doing some walking and some talking. Yeah, just just some movement left. Yeah. And I will, be, I will be I will be leaving on a cutscene. We will watch the final cutscene because I don't need to skip that one. So this is Jackson, final chapter, technically. It's very short. So time's coming up soon, in about a minute or so. Yeah. We've got one more strat left to do, though. One checkpoint restart. <laughs> I still remember the day that Cadder was on world record pace, <laughs> and he checkpoint restarted too early, and it sent him all the way oh. back, and he just ruined his run right oh, at the end. Oh, no. It was, it, was, it was hilarious. But he got the world record, like, a day later or so. So in the end, it was just yeah. funny. That was back when the run wasn't really optimized, the world records were just passing left and right. Yeah, I think it was 2.35 back then. I think no, I think the time that he ended up getting was like 2.33. I can't actually remember, to be honest. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I always loved the music in this chapter. Yeah. It's a nice way to wind down at the end of a good run, yeah. especially if you know actually how to checkpoint restart here. <laughs> as soon as the camera starts moving up, do a quick do a quick check reek, check reek start, and then we're down here. That skips. What does it skip? I can't yeah. remember. Does it skip looking? Oh, you have to look like yeah, the town. Yeah, you're just standing there looking at Jackson yeah. for a few seconds. Yeah. Now we're going to climb, and then as soon as we hit this, it's time. So three, two, one, and time. There we go. I forgot to say that was coming up. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. It's out there. Come on. Wow, what a, 
what a what a great run. What a great run. Hey, wait. It was acceptable. <laughs> it was acceptable. It was entertaining. The, it was entertaining. What was the time? It was uh two thirty three like, uh, like and two thirty three twenty two. Back when I was bitten. Oh, that's really nice, man. So that was about three and a half minutes slower than my PB. Which is not bad. Ish. It's really not good bad. considering it's like if you if you get one skip second try it instantly loses two minutes. <laughs> That's a good yeah. point, yeah. So, so. Well, she says, if anyone was wanting to find out more information so about The Last of Us, the this version, you know, PS5 version, um, anything else along those lines, where I'm would they go? Ellie. Her name was Riley. Um, so we have um, a Discord server, um, which has pretty much got everything you want in it. Um, the tutorials. It. It's got an entire no, dedicated tutorial you. section. Um, not many people do any percent, so... It's probably going to be harder to, to maybe learn any percent, but if you have questions about this category specifically, either ask me or your answer will be able to help you out because we are the masters. You keep apparently. finding something to fight for. <laughs> oh, now, I apparently. That's not what you want to hear. Um, you swear to me. And if you come into the into the server saying you found a glitch, chances swear are I already know about it. <laughs> that's a running a running theme is some people come in and are like, oh, I found this. I'm like, yeah, I've known about that for like seven years. Don't worry about it. Swear. Yeah, that happens every week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have a Discord server. I don't think there's much in the way on this SRC page. Maybe some some guides, but there is a link to the the server if you want to uh, uh, join that. It's on it's on the speedrun.com page. Um, but any of the Last of Us games, whether it's two or one, you can find it on there. Um, and yeah, it, 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 a lot of people run this game. Most people run glitch less. A lot of people run grounded. But there's something for everyone. There's loads of categories to pick from if you want to play it a certain way. Um, and yeah, I'll, I will skip this because it might get copyrighted. No, we don't want to credit this. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, that, that was uh, that was Last of Us. So I hope you enjoyed the run. Um, it was fun to do. It was acceptable, like I said. It wasn't great, but it was it was fine. Um, and yeah, thanks for you and for commenting with me. Yeah, thank and you for giving me the chance. Helped a lot to explain the stuff while I was doing it, so I could concentrate. Because this game's quite. I don't know, it's not hard to play while you're talking, but it can be sometimes finicky to try and do certain things while you're trying to also explain it at the same time. So. All right, well, if anyone yeah. wanted to follow yeah, that, that any one of y'all, where would they go? Uh, well, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Um I don't, I, I do try and stream a decent amount, um, but I'm still trying to get back into the groove of it, trying to find what I want to do. Yeah, I might actually do some runs of this. Um, again, since I've already like actually de rusted for this, I might as well actually try and get a PB. So I might, I might carry on doing this for a little bit. Ooh. Um, yeah, you went to uh, where can they find you? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Yoranto. <laughs> I am currently running <laughs> grounded mode speedruns of this game. Yeah, he's actually better than me. <laughs> game, so. Uh, any other final shout outs? Just, uh, just a shout out to the, the entire Last of Us community. Um, it's, it's been, it, it's grown a lot over the last couple of years, especially when Part Two came out as well. And uh, considering how small it was, you know, eight years ago to, to how many people there is now, you know, put it into perspective. For a game like this, I mean, I know it's popular, but the speedrun server itself has like over one thousand three hundred people in it, which is a lot for a game that, for a speedrun that looks as simple as it does, it's a lot of people and. I mean, it shows because it's just a great game that people love, and the same thing for me. I, you know, I started running it because it was a game close to me that I wanted to keep playing. It wasn't because I was just a speedrunner that wanted to speedrun. I wanted to play the game, and it just went from there. And then I'm still doing it now. So I, I'm assuming a lot of people also did the same thing. They wanted to play it again, so they tried to do a speedrun, and that's probably why it's so popular as well. You want to throw any other final shoutouts? Me? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you both very much for coming out. It was a fantastic run. I leave you both with uh, one final joke. Uh, you want to hear a joke about a pizza? Oh, here we go. Never Yay. mind. Sure. Never mind. Never mind. It's it's it, it, it's it's too cheesy. Why did oh, I know you were going to say that one as well? <laughs> uh, but while the bargain bin may be closing its doors, please do not go anywhere. Do not forget. 
After this is the premiere of Tiny Tree Fort, a temporary show that will be running for six shows while She Is Speed is on break. Frozen and Kobe will be featuring speedruns from the Fame Fatales community of games that have been Game of the Month over the last few years. You want to stick around for the debut of Tiny Tree Fort coming up here in just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and get all that taken care of. It's a great time to get up, stretch, get some water, use the restroom, get a snack, get a nice little blanket, get some popcorn while we get everything set up for Tiny Tree Fort. I will see you all later. Bye.